brown stripes and bright stars Oh, the marvelous fight Oh, the red and white we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket red glare The bombs were singing My guy be a respect in the anthem We don't give a piss about nothing but the sun. We don't give a piss about nothing but the sun. We don't give a piss about nothing but the sun. Andrew Dang says, I'm at church tonight, but let's get the W, hopefully. Let's go. That's where you Gabe, when are you going to church? (laughs) (laughs) Gabe, when are you going to church, huh? Don't, Listen, you don't don't think I'm gonna let you get away with that? I don't give a piss about nothing but the suns. Mm. Okay. Welcome in everybody. What's going on? Games getting close to being underway. Ruben says, "Gabe ain't no holy man like me and you, son. I Go mean, fast. Can't handle. I can't hold a holy candle up to you, man. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous." Uh, appreciate we you have, for so the no tray. Is that what I'm hearing? What's that? No, yeah, no tray. He's been out. He's been out with a real injury, so he the, he was never gonna. Play. Bro, like here's, here's the sons are killing me, bro. You keep giving, get, having these gifts handed handed to you toward towards the end of the season. It don't mean no nothing, Joel, no mean Trey, nothing. no Giannis, and you keep fumbling the bag. I'm gonna lose Spurs my fingers. mind just, if we lose this game, bro. Spurs fans says, "I don't give a piss about nothing but the Lord." That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm yeah. here for it. We got yeah. we got 105 watching. Appreciate y'all. Hit that like button. Yeah, 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 as y'all yeah, yeah. file in here, yeah, please. Let, let, and let's thank do you. that. Let's definitely hit the like button. Okay, we got our YouTube money. We can go ahead and mm. turn, turn it around. And uh, man, you know what I was even thinking? We could do like goals. Obviously, for mem- free memberships being given out, we can do that tonight. Mm. We, got, we got a little bit of money in, the, in our pockets, burning. Mm. But we could probably do randomized merch giveaway for likes. I mean, that's going to be bigger goals. Mm. But like, we pick at random somebody to get a Sundo three sixteen shirt. I need a uh, Sunday 316 shirt. You know maybe what I'm you saying? Because you know how to do that randomizer, right? Like the selector on uh, Streamlabs. Mm. You know? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. See if you guys want to be. Yeah, hit that like. Let's try to get to 50 right away if we can. Jeff likes the white flight hat. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I might get the green one because it's like the brim and the sides are green. I should make uh, I should make Grayson's silhouette green on that one. That would be crazy. Here's the intros. And with him in the backcourt, Can we just play the game, please? Sunday's got to go to bed. Andrew. This is going to be a first quarter game for Sundo bedtime. <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. Bed stream? And that's tonight's starting no. lineup brought to you by Banner Sports Medicine. Bro, Burner's meme was just so perfect. The SpongeBob meme. Mm-hmm. Like, that is so accurate. As soon as you go to bed, everyone walking along the glass, smiling, trying to watch you walk to your room. 
Tell I'm me going to ignore Sando that text. That. She was in the, she's in the Discord. Everybody mm. ignored Miss Sunday last night. She was upset. Mm? She said, "I'm gonna I got I'm gonna get Sunday this shirt," and no one said anything. I showed Katie, and we were cracking up. But I forgot mm. I forgot to tap it, you know. But no, I did see that Miss Sunday. I she, hope everyone then, has a safe night. Katie goes, why get him that shirt when he needs son's gear? Because we're poor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Son's gear is like $200 for a t-shirt. Yeah, sleep. If you're in there, um, I'll try to find you right now. Make sure everybody who's in here already has one. We're just missing. Besides, Sunday likes to just wear his nice, cool shirts. I like my like his polka dot shirt right here. You know what I'm saying? Polka mm. dots, looking fresh, fresh, fresh. Somebody in a comment of a video this summer said that that shirt looks like you're at the barber shop about to get a fade. Dang right. Maybe <laughs> I would. You know. I mean, are you gonna simp on flu grad over here, or what are we doing? Nope. Would never do that. Of course not. Well, that guy can be a problem, and it's a lot to account for, and Murray is that guy. All right, here we go. Tip off, Thank tip you, off. Yeah, Murray, a guy who was rumored for weeks each to be going to Los Angeles. Yeah. It, you know, it may have been as much as Quinn Snyder kind of putting his foot down there in Atlanta and saying, I do not want that guy traded. Yeah, I mean, Suns win the tip. And the VIP passes are glitched. They're not saying I can't do it, but every time I click on it, nothing happens. We'll try to get that fixed. Grant book. past the book. Grayson pump fake. Grayson to the corner. Beal. Three hits. None but the tie. Okay? None but the I'm getting pissed about man. none but the three. Got it right back. For the fans sat down in a hurry tonight. <laughs> yeah. That was not the case last night as they got uh, a little antsy as the sun started. Open, open three Hunter. Hunter. Wide open. Rills of it. Hashtag, Hashtag wide open, of course. Open, of course. Durant on a slow rotation after Kendrick Perkins called him out on ESPN. He's still doing it. Beal snagging along the baseline. Gray Goose. Grayson, three. No! Out. Whoa, what a Gets tip in from Beal, bro. Beale. That was locked. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know if he actually tapped it. Miss Sunday says, we three. ain't poor. You're poor, Sundo. Whatever. She didn't say the second part. Capella, floater, no good. Goes and chases down his own rebound. Kicks it out to Bog. Keep it alive. Trades you with the ball fake. Mm. Knocks down the three. So Hawks team that's that was upsetting right there. The hand it really, really was. Monday night, 136 to 105. Book out to Beal. Pulls the three. Long brick. Durant yeah, chases it down. But he steps. Dude, he stepped over half court. There's yeah, but they didn't call it. They didn't call it. Are they it. saying they that it was he loose? He didn't get possession. Yeah. Okay. They said he didn't okay. get possession. Late pass from Nurk. It was a good idea, but it was late and it gets stolen. That gets deflected and Krejci able to get out. Krejci hits. Nice pass. And by nice, I mean stolen. Durant wanted the kick ball. They didn't get it. Bug Donnie, 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 Donnie. Probably should have been a kick. Probably should have been, but they didn't call it. Boggy. Driving. Step back. No good. Rebound to Nurk. Booker bringing the ball up the court. Gets a pick from Nurk. Takes it. Book pulls for three. It hits. I like that. Jay That's Lop the type of good. shit I do like. 184 watching, guys. Help us out. Hit that like. We're at 54. If we could get to 75 likes before the next. You know what? 75. If we can get to 75 likes as Clint Capella does a busy floater off the back. Busy floater, bro. We get to 75. By the next dead ball, tie like like uh, commercial break, I'll gift out a free member. Great with right. another turnover. Murray transition three short brick. Durant tips it. Gray Goose chases. Nope. Murray gets it back to Capella and he finishes. 
Man. He's missed another double double in that loss Monday night. Ten points, nine rebounds. He's missing a Field Nurk wearing his Oregon. He is a customized Durant 15. Has he from book into a floater? Left it short. No good. Pocket pass to Capella. Stolen from Durantula. Pushes it up to Goose. Alley oop is slapped out of bounds. Some sloppy passing. I, I, I appreciate the sharing of the ball, but could you be more talented at it, sons? Is that possible? Man. 69 likes. We're lucky they didn't go to commercial. Come on, we need we need six more. Uh oh, Ryan, yeah, I do need to show my picks. I'll get to that. Yeah, Murray, Hunter, Crazy, all. Everybody's asking for VIPs, Gabe. Explain to them why they yeah. don't have VIPs uh, right me, now. Let me Grace try again. Three. Hits it. Set four 25-plus point games in the last eight. 32 last night. Bogdanovich misses. Ooh, it's working again. Pillow with a rebound. Krejci is bothering the Suns right now. He's getting his Boggy hits the three. That is just, that's two right now. Wide open the course. opportunity they've gotten that turned into three-point shot. KD trying to post up, but Hunter closing off the passing lane. Nerk to the rack. Lefty blocked oh. off the backboard by Capella. He is just too long. Hunter stolen. No, nope. Gray almost chased it down, but. Able to set up the steal. Allen just a step. Roy's got the flu. I'm sorry, Roy. Sorry to hear that. Frosty, it's funny. I just took your VIP away right before you got in here. I'll just give it right back to you real quick. Let me go down here and see if I can find some more. Murray drills a three. Timeout, Suns. Do you remember when Romp was telling us last night that... Or maybe you were gone already. Romp was telling us that these Hawks just beat the absolute breaks off of the Clippers recently. And if we mm. have a slow start, they can absolutely do it to us, too. Out it, man. I mean, they did lose to the Lakers recently also, so it's not like they're unbeatable, right? But can't play games early in this game. This can't really – maybe it can. Maybe we can get away with it, right? But I don't want to play games early and give up a, a early lead um, that we can't come back from. I mean, we should be able to come back, right? I mean, this would be a very insulting game to lose. No Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks. They've won like 30 games, 10 less than us. They come into your house and just smack you around like... I would think it's smacking you around. Well, they're smacking us right now. They're not smacking us, bro. We keep turning the ball over, making these stupid passes. All right, we d we got to that light goal. I just noticed. I'll just assume we hit it before that timeout. So let me go I mean, ahead. That's really what's happening. Right now. All those turnovers have led to extra points and offensive rebounds also. Uh, We don't have the free 10 because it's not the How do I buy? I want to be in the PHXB to drum line, bro. That would be dope. That would be dope. Uh, and let it no, no, no dashboard content. Talk to the fine people in the chat, will you? I mean, they're they're here for you, and you're about to abandon them. I hear for me. They're here for the free VIP playback. Tell them why you're about to abandon them. Because, bro, this game started literally at what nine forty. He's he's blaming daylight savings time, everybody. You hear blaming this? daylight savings time. Why are we playing a game at nine thirty? You guys hit the like goal. Someone's getting a free membership. Who's it gonna be? 
Who's the newest? Zonabot. Zonabot always wins. Welcome back, Zonabot, our newest renewed horseman. 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 I don't give a damn about nothing but the horseman. Oh, oh, oh! What's happening here? Another one. You don't give it away for free. You just give it away. Another three members. Well, I'm just gonna. Ma you I'm matching your energy. You're too I'm kind. I'm matching your energy. You are too Leo kind. DC got Leo DC guy. Leo. Welcome. Horseman. Beal working on Hunter. Loses the dwibble. Another turnover. And that's why we're losing, Gabe. They're not spanking us as much as we just make stupid passes and turn the ball over. Well, he just Mac lost Brad. the ball on the dribble. Turnover century, bro. This is what killing us. Six to zero. I told you. Oh, but we don't need to play IT. We don't need to play him at all. Durant with the midi. No good. Capella chases that long rebound down. Gets it over to Hunter. Hunter over to Murray. Good. Yes, sir, Vision. Fans getting restless here in this opening frame with the Hawks. You earned it, Leo. At 22-11. Durant, midi, no good. So after a strong shooting start for Phoenix, they have gone ice cold. Murray, open Murray, top of the uh, key three, drills it. LMAO! 5.53 to go in the first. Can I just point one tiny little itty bitty thing out? We're Be still, my guest. We're still not guarding the three, Lasundo. Mm, you don't think? We're starting out the game, giving them wide open. Three. They want to back to back. We're tired. That's not untrue. I'm Devin. mocking them. No. Devin, let me see if we've got a VIP left. We got 24 in here on playback. I don't know if we have any available. They are all in use. But I'll tell you what you guys can do if you want to bump somebody off of the VIP. All right, and this is cheaper mm -hmm. than purchasing League Pass. You can purchase mm -hmm. League Pass and sign in with your NBA account, and then you just get the stream. Or you sign up for prize picks using Code Valley. You show us in the Discord or on Twitter. Bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle. You get a, you get a priority VIP is what we'll call it where you don't lose it if you don't use it. Is that a real question? <clears throat> Ugh. None but the tide, baby. Bro got an autograph to Eric Gordon. I feel like I'm the only pick. one that would really like that, and you. This so is... Okay, so that, that was a pre pretty decent excuse. Second night of a back-to-back. -back. Keep going. I was just making a mocking excuse. There's no excuse for them to be open, bro. Like, it's just really that simple. Like, it's just really not. You can make a proper rotation and be in the right spot. They're just not in the right spot. They're just watching the ball move and not paying attention and not hitting their shots. And then the post-game press conference will be, they were just hot in the first quarter, man. They hit all these threes. Yeah. Thunder, what do you want to beat? Pay us attention. How about you say pay attention to us? <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm literally sitting here watching. Get that shot out of here. Evan Booker says VIP. I've been watching on YouTube for a year. I'd love to do it. I'd love to, but we got a full house on playback. Not not even full, but we have we only have twenty VIPs, and we got twenty two people other than us. You know? 
Mac Brad said, Gabe, I'm going bald. I said, fuck it, LOL. <laughs> Just shave it the, shave it one time, see how it feels, see how it looks, and wear a hat for a week. Luigio says, I don't need VIP. Give it to Devin Booker. Ooh, Luigi. What a... Beat says, finally, uh, they paying attention to us. Bro, it's two chests, nigga. Luigi is too kind. I got no patience for this. I'm leaving. Nurk. Fouled. In a post-up situation. And I hear Horseman for the one time guy. I hate you, my bad. <laughs> But I did just say uh, some a bad word, so that means uh, we're gonna get emails, reported emails. to our sponsors. Fire Vogel, I'm hearing them right now in the chat. Book drills another three. three. That makes me happy, dude. He's hit two already. Did I mean, you give Devin his VIP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And Mac Brad. Now I don't hear any. I don't hear anything. I don't hear any talk from Devin in the chat, though. I don't want to hear Booker. piss about nothing but book. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter. Wow. Wow, that was a great shot. Appreciate you, Mac. By Travis Hunter. Booker Pools. Ooh, okay. He's officially hot. He's officially okay, hot. That's good. He was one for five from three last night, and I was complaining to Gary about it. I was like, dude, I can't wait till he can hit threes again. Murray. Racing around with a step back crazy. That was Sunday, rough. Put on some sweet jazz and go to sleep. Maybe. Kevin Durant still looking for his first points. He gets tangled up with Hunter there. Crazy Durant ain't scored yet. Bro, we've already hit 102 likes in the first SB, quarter with like hey, several minutes left. SB 1993 says we need to rest Gabe. He looks great. I agree. We need to free uh, Gabe. Man, KD should have been rested. Hunter and Krejci will sit down. That's a good point. Year old Wesley Matthews will check in. Nurk hand off to Book. No. Gets it tapped. Gets it back. Book to the rack. Into the corner to Gordon. Gordon to the rack. Gordon out to Gray Goose. Too deep. Rebounded by Murray. Murray off to the races. Little push dribble crossover. Foul going the line. I love Murray, bro. If we could have got Murray, oh my God. So we got 104 likes. And we need to keep this going because this is a really good pace run. I want to get to 125 likes. We're at 108 now. 125 likes before the end of the quarter. And I'm passing out another membership, but don't tell my wife. Okay, you tell my wife, she tells her boyfriend, her boyfriend kicks my ass. Okay? You are really ridiculous, bro. Same unit out for the Suns, D. Lee. Josh Kogi, Trey Young, hoping to get him back here relatively soon. Jalen Johnson listed out. He re-entered his ankle in the fourth quarter. Man, this game's so late. Where's Burner? I haven't seen Burner. I know. you got to imagine he'll be here. Murray. Bitch, if I say, hey, I'm going to go to bed and, and sleep with Miss Sundo, he'll be uh, mm. upset. He'll pop up like Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. Bookie. Drives, stops, pops, pumps, kicks it back to Royce. Down to, oh goody, we've got Eubanks at the three-point line with it. Kicks it to Book. Beautiful pass! Beautiful catch by Gordon! Thank you, Great pass from out. Book, bro. And yeah, that left-handed pass, woof. Seahawks need to look at him to play fullback, bro. I say Seahawks because Sunday's a Seahawks, man, not because anyone else in the chat is. Turn around, spin move. What a pass! Dude! Trent Forrest with the juicy assist. Gordon, great pass to you, Blanks. Hey, and Eubanks one. There we go, you, Banks. Is this going to be our one out of 17 Eubanks games that he does well? 
that's the part. Yes. That's the part with Eubanks that I really want him to continue to improve on. He's so strong. We're three likes away, folks, and, and from and another gifted Membi. And Sundo, if you match me, not saying you have to, but for the love of God, spread out the likes and tell them it has to be 150. How we gonna match? You do you people don't deserve Sundo's generosity. The way you treat him like a, a slab of meat. He's Mrs. Sundo's slab of meat, not yours. Matthews over to Bog. Back to Matthews. Nice pass. Matthews trying to reset in the corner. Matthews to the rack. Euro lefty, no good. Book to the rack. Takes a bump. Stops. Pumps. Fades off the backboard. No good. Tipped in by wow, Eubanks. We're getting our Eubanks game and we hit our goal. 120. Oh no, no, we need four more. My bad. My bad. It was 120. I think I said. Did I say 120? I think I said 125. 125. 125. Four more likes, folks. One more like. We're at 124. Wow. Okay. Offensive foul on Trent Forrest. Let's go. Looks like we hit it. All right. Here we go. Did a nice job of getting over and closing off the lane. You guys hit the goal. Here comes the Membi. Beal, great behind his head pass, bro. How did he know Book was coming? That was sick. Goat NBA gets the gift from me. Goat NBA, let's go. NBA. Bogdanovich mid-range pull. No good. Suns get the board and who's the Trevor other winner? Greer. Trevor Greer. And Goat NBA welcome in our two newest. Horseman. Thick boy, thick boy Gordon in the paint. What a Gordon. drive by Thick Boy. Horseman. Appreciate you guys, man. Fourteen point lead means nothing. Well, especially in the first. Yeah. Let's be honest. Fourteen points in the fourth quarter. Doesn't Trent Forrest. Oh, that's a goal okay, ten. A goal ten. Yep. Little goal ten. Damn. Forrest with the bucket. Snaps an 11-2 scoring run here with the Suns. One thirteen to go in the first. No one's getting a sleep stream tonight. Relax. It would help. It would really help the morale. Suns have found their offensive footing the last four five O'Neal to Eubanks. Takes it to Beal. Beal. And a screen foul from Eubanks. I wish I could have a little chat with Eubanks and Thanks. Barber. <laughs> Why? That particular play is very I just feel like the back of his hair needs to be a little bit more like tapered up a little bit. Like the way it sticks out in the back is weird. You know? As a bald man, I just I want people's hair to be right. You know, because I can't have it. It's vicarious. Pass to Matthews for three. Thank God, no good. Royce whips it up to Book. We got a 1v3 crossover. Book. Cooks! That was a forest. Bro, it was so good. Hesitation. He froze his defender, bro. That was nice. Okay, Booker's healthy right now. I think we're seeing what you yeah. said about Booker not being healthy. I think we're seeing a healthy Booker. Wolf. Oh my God! Stolen by Forrest. Yeah, somebody's got to yell Wolf. Bogdanovich steps into a two, one-handed floater. Wow. We banks are Hakeem. Devin Booker says. Mm, that's a tough one. We got to educate the crowd on that. 37 30, Booker crossover. Screen from Eubanks kicks it to Royce, gets it right back. Four seconds, crossover. Fouled by Bogdanovich. Out of give. 2.2 seconds to go. You don't ask the crowd for much. Cheer, support, and then want a player when an opponent is running up behind you to take the ball. Perhaps we Come can on, uh, somebody get a bucket you, like, here. It'd be so like nice. Two cards. You know, like they, they've yeah. gotten college football with the. You, you don't think I would get a technical foul for bringing cards? O'Neal deep pass to book over to Eubanks. That's tough. That's tough. 
But it's okay. It was a good attempt, right? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a good shot, but... Sundo synopsis after one We quarter. didn't draw an inbound play for Eubanks. It was for Booker, but Booker Double. couldn't catch the pass, so he immediately gave it to Eubanks SB. So it wasn't like it was drawn for Eubanks. It just happened to go to Eubanks. And he did what he could do with it. Right. He put up a floater and a hook shot. Instead it of was like, like a free, it was from the free throw line. Yeah. Which is, so that's, I mean, that, that's like literally what I consider the end of floater range. Like you need to be inside the free throw line. If you're going to do a floater, you know, for anybody, even yeah, skilled, definitely, floater. definitely needs to take a, a normal shot if you can. Yeah, he just, yeah. But he doesn't really have a normal shot. That's the, that's the kicker. He don't really have one, bro. It's crazy. His jumper is ugly, but it's not ineffective. He's just like Aiton where he's terrified to shoot. Look at your queen out here with the gorilla. Gorilla looking no, yours. swole. Well. The sun should sign Gianni, Giannis Shea, and Jokic in the offseason. Yeah, that'd be great uh, if we could just they? do that. Let, Man. That's a good idea. I'm going to write to uh, Ishbia. I'm going to write him a letter and send it in the mail. I'm sure he'll get it. <laughs> I'm sure he'll listen. But I'm sure it's possible. Bro, the the gorilla actually is swole as fuck if he's walking down the stairs on his hands. That's crazy. I'd crack my skull open and die in front of everybody. No kidding. And that shit would be on ESPN forever. Well, that convinces me I could never be a mascot. I do no not kidding. have what it takes. <laughs> Holy shit. It ain't Dude, just no dancing and shucking and jiving, folks. Dude's a gymnast. It's funny because that's definitely a bodybuilder that man, version of the that suit. No, no, no. Wants Look at bag, the gorilla bro. suit. That ain't his normal upper body of the suit, bro. They gave him like a super ripped one. That's sick. That can't be real like his regular one. No, it's... Yeah, uh, Derek says his shoulders are jacked. Come on, bro. That's not what he normally looks like. In a way. Derek also signed IT to be a cheerleader. That's about the fact, bro. Mm. Like, seriously. Like, he could, at he that would point, fit. Like, bro, he, he would fit on the top of the pyramid. Easy. Easy. <laughs> They'd have no problem IT, getting him up there. IT's on a 10-day cheerleading contract. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go grab my coffee because I know you're not gonna be here all night. I'll be right back. Bowl cool in the game. Bogdanovich floater, no good. Rebound, KD kicks the Beal. Beal bringing it up. Beal to Gordon, Gordon to Eubanks. Eubanks hands off to Beal. Beal Durant, good play. Durant has to pull. That's no good. Air ball. Might have got a tipped it. Oh, what he did there. That was crazy. Oh, compel man. Try to duck. Misses. Bobo -bo rebound. Bobo -bo kicks to Air Gordon. Air Gordon lays it in. Bobo -bo running the court and the assist. Let's go, Bobo. Bobo -bo. -bo leading the break is great. If you watch him, he makes the right pass. Three for Hunter. Was Out of bounds. Over the backboard. Come on, Drew. Drew is going to challenge anybody. And he timed it. You see how he stutter step? Man, Okong would try to just cram on Eubanks and he blocked it. Good job. He would have been on a poster. Whoo! James says fire frame during halftime. Crazy. Eric. Back to KD. KD, top of the key, gets a pick from Eubanks, takes it, kicks to Eubanks. Eubanks to Gordon, Gordon to Beal, back to Gordon, Gordon pump fake, Gordon driving. Gordon to Bobo in the corner, Bobo to KD, good pass, KD for three. Good ball movement. Bobo to assist. I like it. I like it. J Dog says Eubanks redemption game incoming, maybe. <laughs> Zona Boss says IT doesn't deserve any playing time at least yet. I mean, give him something. It's not going to hurt to put that boy in. 
I got bad news. Bad news, everyone. I'm oh, out of coffee. Oh, what's the bad news? Oh, man. I'm out of coffee. And even worse news, the only thing I have to drink is this coffee shot. Mm. It does not taste good. Oh, good luck. Good people are going to enjoy watching now. Oh, shit! Okay, Bill. Wow. Bro, I'm Foul speechless. I'm speechless, bro. Show that replay. That was a good dunk. Ooh, look at that. There you go, Bill. That was crazy. Back into the game at 16 in the first on six. Wow. Shooting in just nine. Yes, sir, Jalen. Yes, sir. The Suns could make an adjustment. Their defense, Durant, getting the defensive assignment. I don't give a piss about none but Bradley Beal. Bobo with a block. Bobo with a block. You makes gets it, kicks to Beal. Beal. Looking for KD. Gives to KD. KD's guarded by DeJounte. They're doing a little pushing and shoving. KD. They call a foul on DeJounte. He's going to complain to the ref. They were getting a little physical down there. KD wasn't having it. Ryan says this lineup is kind of good. It is kind of good. It's not killing us. I'll say that much. Yeah, he probably did double dribble, Ruben, but we're not going to talk about that. Beal, Eubanks. Hits it back off the Beal. Beal. Double kicks to Eubanks. Eubanks to Bow Bow. Three. No good. Gabe's just recording that dunk. What are you doing here, Gabe? DeJounte driving. Recording my beautiful man. Loses the ball. Gordon to Beal. Beal to Durant. Durant. In the corner. He's going to drive. In the paint. On the block. Turn around. Jumper. And one. No. No foul call. Thought it was going to be a foul call. He misses. DeJounte bringing the ball up the court. DeJounte to the corner. Hunter for three. No good. Rebound by the Hawks. We're on the dunk. Get up and hammer the home on the foul. Fernando with the dunk. Yeah, Frank Vogel was pretty incensed last night on many of the. He gets a pick from Eubanks. Were not whistled last Gordon. Night, but you and I have seen it. Jab you step on the wing, kicks to the corner of the ball. Ball, ball, ball steps out of bounds with his long inspector gadget legs. Defense. Mm. A little bit more, a little more physicality. Yeah. Artifice says you guys handing out MVPs. Um, I think I don't we're. Think so. I we're, think we're full up. Gotta be full up. Let me look. Because they don't have to call the ticket. Think we're full up. And then, so, you see defense. You like just steals the ball and palms on the floor. Beal the Gordon. Gordon. Gordon, Gordon lays it up. Good and, and one. one. Eric Gordon. Okay, Eric Gordon redemption game two. Look at IT trying to be a good teammate. Yeah, I just miss it. I just miss it. Oh, he's got to be just so happy to be back on an NBA bench. That's a big step. I didn't, Ryan, I didn't fill out a bracket this uh, this season. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up with college basketball enough to know. But I've been most impressed with what he's done on the defensive end since he stepped on the floor because he, he's – Credited with only one steal, but he has. Barbie says they got to start charging for those VIPs. Look, we don't get to charge, but the people who are now are going to, you know, get the league pass, you know? Get the league pass. Suns in front. Or sign up for prize picks using our code and prove it to mm. us. We'll give you guys that VIP lickety split and in priority so you won't lose it. Pass stolen. Murray. Dunks. A Durant pass stolen. Calvin says, what's up with Durant? I don't know. Dude just be turning the ball over all the time. Well, at this level, and again, knowing the defender that's yeah. on the other side of the floor, Beach, and that being the long arm Murray. And, and he just, he, he timed it. He saw it. Because he, he Thanks this game on TV today. tonight. Why I'm not with y'all. Let's go, Hawks. And Katie's eyes were just Crazy. Crazy. B, I want to see IT just to see what I would look like playing in the NBA. I'm done. <laughs> 
Are you 5'9"? I even need to be that close. I understand that. It's fun to watch players that you know are your exact height. Because then you're like, oh, shit, that's what I would look like standing next to Bull Bull. And the dessert from the same buffet line is what you're saying. Grayson back in the game to save us. back in the game. Tight game, by the way, Gabe. Back to save us. Sitting down 10 minutes, 9 points. Or better yet. This kid's acting up. He can just well, reach the this coffee the shot ain't getting any colder. <laughs> Durant. Oh my gosh. You would have hit that. That would have been wild. Yeah. All right, bro. Ugh. Neither the Suns or the. Oh, this shit has lines main mushroom in it. Let's go. Mmm. Ah. KD shooting 85% on the season as we get a message from our friend. Ah! God damn! Power up your capability with the right Kia SUV. Ugh! Durant passing Shaquille O'Neal. Durant hits the second free throw. Suns lead. Nine going into the game. As he climbs into the number eight. Dante, guarded by Beal. Get the pick from Fernando. Murray over the shoulder pass to Krejci. Able to get across the lane. Krejci no good. Bull Bull steals that rebound from Nurk. Nurk's like, all right, all right. Seven footers. Durant, Bull, and Nurk. It's on the floor. Grant to the rack. Kicks it down to Bull Bull. Floater foul. is fouled Thank by you. Matthews. Good lord. Bull Bull was in the right spot. Got a good pass. My like, man. Well, welcome, Banks. This is. Why right? She's just waste of a roster spot getting IT. I mean, it's really just one roster spot to 10 day. It's not really a waste of a roster spot per se. But would we like to see him? Yes, I would love to see him play. But Frank just, just says, I'm not doing that. No minutes for him. They're playing your boy, Josh Harlow, your favorite rapper, bro. That's pretty cool for you. That's a full circle. Yeah, Carlisle. <clears throat> I wanted to like Jack Harlow until they put him in that White Men Can't Jump movie. Boy cannot hoop. The boy cannot hoop. He's terrible. He looks terrible trying to play, bro. Ooh, be right back. <coughs> Right, he says KD hasn't been the same since All Star. I feel like it's just come, it comes and goes. Like you know what I mean? Like it comes in waves. Damn it! I should have picked Murray's points. Eighteen already. I should have known. I need to start trusting that. Trusting my instincts that are telling me that the star player of any other team is going to get their over versus us. I didn't listen to it with Dame. Um. Yeah, we don't really stop the other team's best player. Uh, J Dog. I mean, all you need to know about Purple Coat Lady is that she's generational. She is generational. She is once in a generation. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But no, she replaced another generational talent, <clears throat> uh, Lindsay. Who? Um, Lindsay from PHNX Sports. Mm. That's who this girl replaced. Here we go. Yeah, Bradley Beal night. <laughs> I mean, he, all the highlights of what Bradley up? Beal. No name. Hope he recorded it. Get home tonight. See his defensive presence. Um, right, Devin Booker, are you talking about the the channel membership? Yeah, it it 
No, it doesn't auto charge you. No, no. It just expires and you have to re up it yourself. Dr. Blank. Got it. Perfect. Points per game, not surprisingly, Eads, that his plummet is. They went from averaging not quite 122 points per game. With I know, Ruben. Young Ruben says he hates seeing Doke in street clothes. Yeah, it makes me sick, man. It's like, I thought we were really going to try to develop him, but Frank ain't interested in any of that shit. Matthews to Murray. Working on Grayson. That's crazy tough. No good. Rebound, Bull Bull, baby. I like how they're keeping Bull in for a while, too. I know. But this is probably the most minutes he gets all game before, you know, he doesn't play the second yeah. half. But regardless. Nurk, Euro. Nurk. Good move, Nurk. You, but you wanted that dunk. No, I'm fine with that. I mean, well, yeah, I forgot I need him to get a dunk for my prize fix, but right. still, I like that Euro. Uh, that was smooth for a big heavy man. Matthews, what are you doing? Other Matthews fouled by Nurkic. Wesley Matthews. Nurkic. Fernando now is fifth season out of the University of Maryland. If you think Steve if Nash that, needs to be the head coach of this team, you most likely do not watch him in Brooklyn. Dude couldn't even call a timeout properly, and rotations were just horrible. Yeah, I didn't watch Steve name. Nash, but I did. But I did know that. I heard all about it. So that that right there says a lot that the Suns can defend when called upon. They just weren't connected to start the game, but they are connected now. Bruno Fernando free throw good. Bull Bull gracefully steps out of bounds to inbound it, might I add. I'll glaze him for anything. Durant getting a screen from Nurk. Nice hook pass to Nurk. Nice pass to Bull. Keep it, Bull. Gives it back to Durant. That's cool. Whoopsie poopsie fouled going to the line, though. That was like crazy foul call i'm not gonna lie I know. I it was know. like he was trying to pass it and then put up the shot i know ice phoenix because he like yeah, this is bittersweet for me sundo because i get to be correct for once <laughs> but i hate it i'd rather be wrong i absolutely hate the fact that you were right and I sound like a complete buffoon for trusting and saying the situation calls for it. Saban Lee's almost out of his two way. And I go, ways. yeah, but Frank. <laughs> Frank doesn't care. Uh, I made this logical argument as a like CIT. And, and, and basically, no. Forget logic. <laughs> not only did we not have to wait to find out, he preemptively told everyone it wasn't going to happen. Facts, bro. Ooh, nice pump fake. Sidestep. Over to Murray for three. Oh, in and out. O'Neal board. Up to book. Gets it to KD, and by gets it to KD, I mean throws it like a quarterback throwing to, like, behind a receiver on a slant route, and it goes out of bounds. God. Yeah, I think you're right, Kiwi. I feel like he feels so much pressure on his job that he's not willing to experiment to try to win. He's like, no, scared I have money to don't make play. money. Scared money don't make money. Scared money don't make money. Yeah. Ernesto, I actually have a college football channel that does really well, and I've been trying to get Sundo to start Sundo Seahawks or Seahawks by Sundo. The names are terrible, but something to that degree. Nurky, hand off to Gordon. 
No good. Gray Goose, pump fake. Gray Goose over to O'Neal in the good corner pass. for three. Beautiful three, bro. Great pass. Beautiful. And it was a great pass. You're right. Yeah, he had four or five. Capella. It's it to Hunter Hunter. Out of bounds. Foul on the Suns. Three of four with his 13 points. Again, good rotation. Did you shave that head again? God damn. Right to shoot that. Like, Do me? Yeah. Don't act like this is three days or two days. Um, that's smooth, right? Very smooth. Good decision making. I know a smooth bald head when I see one, folks. I think the Suns have good intentions when they pass the ball a lot, but the problem is it's loose. They're loose with it, and it turns into a layup going the other way. Oh, yeah, TC says you got that skull shaver, right? That's who we need as an advertiser, bro. Mm -hmm. Too bald. Yeah, if I'm any better, I have one from Remington, and it kind of hurts and gives me a lot of irritation on the back. We need to, we need to get there's, – there's a one on TikTok I saw. I can't remember. We need to get sponsored by that. Well, doesn't Mr. Worldwide do a skull shaver commercial? Voice on a float or let's go. This says who has the best shaved head. I think it's uh, Gabe's better. I, I don't know, man. I think yours would be better because I have – ooh, ooh, interception. Hunter for three. Thank God he misses, but Capella gets the board. Drop steps, and Grayson pulls the chair out, out of bounds. Uh, Atlanta ball, though. But I think yours because for me – I'm so pasty, pasty white that when I shave it, it's even whiter. And so, like, I would imagine yours looks better for longer. You know what I mean? Because you have more of a tan than me. More of a tan. That's what we're calling a tan. <laughs> I know that you can get tan. Ain't no way you don't, you don't golden up. Yes, but I'm not tan. I have <laughs> melanin game. That's true. They are a little different. Step back from book short. Murray with the rebound. Capella. Oh, come on. That is hideous. Yeah, you'd be dark if you were in AZ, dude. Yeah, my, my bald head is more like a, a lighthouse, you know? Yeah, I remember seeing Just beaming the light the out into the sea. That young... That's an ugly players. free throw, but it went in. Holy cow. His third season out of Czech Republic, originally selected by Washington in 2020. Spent four years in Spain playing there. Nurk Daddy takes it to Book. Book drives. Kicks it to Gordon, over to O'Neal. Look at that pass from Gordon, baby. Ooh. So unselfish, bro. Gordon could have taken that shot. But he recognizes Royce is hot right now. Let's go. Murray, crossover, crossover. Back to Bogdanovich, pump fake. Step through, off the backboard, and one. Wow, hey, that's an and one, huh? He's nice, bro. I hate Bogdan Bogdanovich, bro. I hate him. Because he was our girl that got away. A lot of you Suns mm. fans, actually, that's funny. I should tell this because it's a timeout. And a lot of you Suns fans don't know about Bogdan Bogdanovich. The Suns drafted him for the timeline. Actually, I shouldn't do this because the timeline came true. <laughs> uh, I'll reverse it. We drafted Mr. Bogdan Bogdanovich to come be our shooter. And we sucked back then. I mean, we were we were bottom of the barrel. And we were the Pistons back then. And he didn't want to come to Phoenix. So he was like, yeah, let's do a draft and stash thing. I'm going to stay out here in Croatia and, or wherever. And... I'll show, I'll, I'll, I'll come play for you. I'll prop, I'll probably come play for you at some point. 
but I'm going to stay over here in me homeland. The sons are like, okay, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You develop oh, over there in Georgia. You develop. We'll stack up a couple more top picks, baby. We'll suck a couple more years. We'll bring you in when we've got some more talent. Good. One year later, I would ring, never. ring, ring. No answer. Two years later, ring, ring, ring. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Got to stay in Croatia. And then we're like, you know what? We can't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and move him for Marquise Chris. Yeah, that's the move. That's what we'll do. So then next season, he shows up and is a baller. So that's why I hate Bogdan Bogdanovich. Marquis Chris is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was Ryan McDonough, affectionately known as Ryan McGet It Dunna. <laughs> and he's the, the one that took he's the one that took Aiden over, over Luca. Thank you. The one that took Aiden over Luca, man. Thank you. Helicopter uh, sweep said Kings let him walk for nothing. That's true. My goodness. Oh man. Oakland? Oakland? Was that the Golden State Warriors? There's one guy. Just wait till next year when we have Kase Tominaga on the team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our new Japanese prince. Yes, sir. We gotta go get him. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> needs to know the name. <laughs> Timothy McDonald said Gabe looks like a Pokemon trainer. That's so true with this hat. Oh my it's god. Perfect, bro. Oh, that's good. Free throw, no good. Book bringing it up. Yeah, well, he went to Syracuse. He worked at Oakland University. Kicks it to Durant. Back to Book. Book, spin move, into the paint. Bump, bump, turn. Kick back to Goose. This is such a lethal lineup we have out there when they're playing well, bro. It should be so oh gosh. good. The big three plus Grayson and then Nurk to do cleanup. How are we not winning more games? Because we leave dudes wide open. Yeah. We don't play defense, bro. It's really just that simple. Nurk fouled, hits the deck card. Jesus says, Kevin Booker making it to five rebounds. What you guys think? Well, depending on which one of them you're actually talking about, it looks like Durant's going to get it, not Booker. But anything could happen. A couple of tips, you know, like say Book goes in, misses a layup, tips it, misses, tips it again. That's two rebounds right there. That's what you're hoping for. Now they got to build on Game over 229. I think so. I think it will be. Murray to Bogdanovich. Over to Hunter. Rocker step, pump fake, jab step, shoot, hit! Look at that white boy footwork, baby! Why are you so excited about that? Because that's what I am I have to do to score when I play. Because I can't jump over my own cell phone. Durant, turn around, fade away. Nurt getting just tossed like a rag doll, bro. Corner three, no good. Nurk board, out-rebounded by Capella. One of the only equal or better rebounders in the NBA, Clint Capella, bro. That is number one in the league. Yeah, since he stepped back on the floor, he snatched a couple more. Book driving left. Kicks it to Goose. Allen back to Booker. Booker open three. Oh, shit, it looked good, but line no. Line drive. No, it was. I, it was like I, yeah. Drive. I thought it was like one of those lasers that just goes in, you know. Murray crossover, a little tween Euro. Jump pass. Nurk with the steal. Pushes it up. Beal gets it back from Book. Hang. Pass to Durant in the corner. Ah! Let's go! 
Bro, every I was praying that was gonna drop in. Oh man. Ruben with a two dollar super chat says father time knocking on door number thirty-five right now, bro, as he hits that three. But I see I I, I kind of understand what you guys are saying. It's going to little, from, but, time to time. from time to time. It's gonna from time to time. And if we only had two of the big three in, including him, if it was just him and Book or him and Beal, he wouldn't it wouldn't be like that, but he's sharing the ball more too. Get off of his back is what I'm trying to say. Get all the way off of his back. Sometimes you gotta save him from himself. Hurry up and in so I can go to sleep. Mm. I'm going to bed at halftime. No synopsis. Mm. Just going straight to bed. With your camera and a nightlight next to the bed. We know. No. We no. know. No. Ruben, Sundo just read it. What are you talking about? Hunter hits the free throw. And we're going to roll the ball up the court so we can. He says, "You should not be high, young sir." Royce, oh my God! Royce was feeling himself so much that he stepped back past the hash mark and hit a three. Like it was deep and it was off the dribble, and it was selfish, right? That was outside of the confines of the offense, but it still went in. That's beautiful. Sixty-five, sixty. Beal working on. Is this Murray? Okay. Murray's a good defender. Kicks it to Durant in the corner. He feeling it? He feeling nothing. No good. Two seconds. Steal almost a, a deflection hey, here from that's Royce. that's what you would have wished that the defense would have did in the game against the Bucks, right there. Not on Lillard. Lillard. Talk about, about Lily? Yeah. Yep, on Lillard. Yeah. All right. Well, it's time for Sunday. All right, Sunday. Make your excuses. Sleep. Son, I'm tired. See, this would be why it would be perfect to have a Sundo lullaby that I could play, but you're the you're the music creator, and he's gone. Don't worry, I'm gonna put up Swoldo. But he's back on the phone. What are you talking about? Oh, you're on your phone. Okay, okay, okay. Now walk us walk us all to your bedroom, if you will. I love the Swoldo video. <laughs> the Swoldo video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff F says, bench KD, put in our new king, Bull Bull, relax. But Bull Bull does need more minutes. I'm going to pull up the uh, stats here so we can see how much everybody has played. And Bull Bull has played six minutes, two points, three rebounds, two assists, and a block. And he's a plus 13. So our eyes are not betraying us. He is very effective for us right now. I mean, okay, let me let me take the word very back. Okay, because he only has two points. He's, a, he's effective when he's on the court. Let me take back effective. He's above... Mm. What word should I use, Sundo? How do you describe it? Because he's plus 13, but he only has two points. Good talk. He's not hurting us, is what I'll say, officially. Royce O'Neal is on fuego. Four for four, three for three, from three. Got a few rebounds and a block. Almost had a steal at the end of the half. <clears throat> okay, Jeff F says efficient. I guess we'll go with efficient, but even that might feel a little bit too strong. Um, but yeah, Royce O'Neal. This is where all the excitement came when... This is where it came from when we signed him or when we traded for him. And we gave up Metu and Yuta Watanabe and now starting Grizzly Jordan Goodwin, which we're fine without. And uh, well, we had one more player we gave up in that exchange. But and we brought in Royce. And I only mention Royce because 
Roddy is rotting on the bench right now. So we gave up all that for Royce for stuff like this, man. He can be our best defender or second best if you think Durant's the best defender. Um, statistically, there's reason to, to say that. Um, he's one of our very best defenders, wing defender, and he can knock down the three. Grayson, one of three, one for three, which is exactly what he ended up in the game versus the Hawks last time we played them. I don't know if you guys remember this, but the Suns lost to the Hawks last time they played. Uh, 129, 120, or oh, something like that. And something about the way they guard Grayson, you know, he only had like. 12 points versus them in that first meeting. And he was one for three from three. So they don't play games with Grayson, it seems like. They they recognize what Grayson is, and they desire and achieve stopping him. Um, Nurkic, relatively no impact in this game, if I'm being completely honest. Four rebounds, one assist. He did intercept a pass from DeJounte. So he's got four points, four rebounds. By his measures, by his standards, that is bad for Nurkic. He's actually getting outplayed by Sundo's guy, Capella. Capella is nine and seven with two assists and a block. And he's a plus 15. Nurki is a minus 10. He's getting cooked right now by Clint Capella. Which, like I said, that's really the one of the only guys I can think of um, right off the bat that is a comparable or better rebounder than Nurk. Sando's officially asleep. <clears throat> Jin X, what's going on? Said, we want IT, bro. I mean, me too. You're not going to get him, though. And it, it's, it is frustrating. It's, it has to, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how it works when you're a GM. But if I was a GM and I brought in talent and the coach continuously turned his nose up at it, if I said, if I'm James Jones and I finally, after three years of trying to get, um, trying to get Thad Young, I finally get him and it's clear most of the time that, that Eubanks isn't the answer at backup center, and the coach says, thanks. Thanks, James Jones. Oh, I appreciate it, but I won't be needing him. In fact, don't even give Thad a jersey. Don't even give him a jersey number. We don't need to assign him a jersey because I'm not playing. Roddy? Oh, Roddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I do understand that he's better than Ish Wainwright in every way, shape, and form. But here's the sitch. I'm not going to play him over Ish Wainwright. So don't bother giving him a jersey number either. He won't be needing it. Oh, interesting. You got me a 10-day. A, a Isaiah Isaiah Thomas? He's averaging 32 points a game. He's hitting six threes a game in the G League. Don't bother giving him a jersey number. Because I won't... If I'm James Jones, at what point am I like, you know what? Fuck this guy. What's the point of me doing my job if he's going to refuse to play the players I give him? I mean, you can't play everyone, but this is above and beyond. This is sometimes stupidity. Playing Ish Wainwright, God love and keep him, over Roddy is ridiculous. Roddy is a better ball handler, a better shooter. He's literally the exact same size and shape, so I don't want to hear anything about it. He's He can drive and finish better. He can create for others, and he's a better defender. And you're going to play his doppelganger, who's literally probably rated way less on 2K, or should be, 
over him. It's egregious. It's ridiculous. The Suns are so clearly in need of a ball handler and distributor. And now you get IT, you bring him in on a 10 day, and the coach goes out of his way before the game even starts, before the first game, and says, I'm not playing him. So don't ask. I know you're all going to ask, oh, IT, what what are we going to, how are we going to, we're not going to. Like, what is that? I don't know. I could be freaking out over nothing, but there's a, re I'll say this. There's a reason why the Suns wanted Nick Nurse before they got Frank Vogel. And unfortunately for the Suns, Nick Nurse chose Philadelphia. Two words I never thought I would ever hear myself say, chose Philadelphia over living in Scottsdale. Wild, wild. Wild. Diego, our beautiful Sundo, is in bed <sighs> under the covers, potentially spooning with his wife. Or she's up playing Overwatch right now. Kenny Oldfield says that's dumb. Then why even bring him in? That's what I'm saying. It's a disconnect. It's the GM bringing him in and the coach being like, no thanks. So, uh, you know, the GM, I don't know. There has to be something going on relationship wise between them johnny said you guys think sundo's watching the game right now i doubt it because he has to be up at 3 30 in the morning so that's strike one strike two is he's not in playback with me anymore and i'm pretty sure that's how he's been watching the game is by chilling and playback and watching it so i don't i really don't think he knows what's going on right now he'll just he'll just wake up and text me at 4 a.m YYC said Ime Udoka would be a better fit, 100%. Suns didn't want to go that route. If anyone doesn't know, he allegedly had an affair with someone on the staff's wife. And there was internal stuff going on with that and internal turmoil for the franchise, as you can imagine. And so they moved off of him, the Celtics, a couple years ago. <clears throat> and I guess the Suns didn't want to bring that into the organization because he had a bad name. Maybe they didn't want to deal with the, the publicity. But as far as best coach available, it was Ime Udoka. What am I making up, DC? And it's very possible I am making stuff up. So let me let me take an easier tone with you because you're probably right. Ralph, what up? Said Gabe, I owe you an apology. The Suns are trash having to comment on this play, uh, every game uh, would piss me off as well. Hey, no problem, Ralph. I don't. I don't mind at all. It's good. It was good criticism, you know. Johnny says KD looks depressed. I would guess that he's probably upset with himself for not playing to his normal standard. He's got to be internally upset with himself. You know, it's probably. It, I don't, I don't think he's mad at his teammates because his teammates are doing pretty good. And then they're, they're not keeping the ball away from him. He's taking the second most shots by one shot, you know. Ooh, Diego, is that what it was? Okay, that makes great sense then. So <clears throat> I just didn't remember that correctly. Ime got hired before we lost in the playoffs last year. Okay, so the Suns just didn't get a chance to even entertain it. That makes me feel better. Jared L says, give it a five minute run and see how it goes. Uh, oh, the next, I'm, I've already come to the conclusion. I haven't said anything about it yet, but I've come to the conclusion that I think the Suns are going to win this game. They look like they've gotten control of everything. They look like, um, and we, we let them come back just a little bit too much in that second quarter, but it looks like the Suns have figured out what they need to do. Like, I'm not even, I'm not scared we're going to lose this game. Not that it couldn't, because it could, it could still happen, but I think we have control. So I'm, I'm not tripping anymore about this game. And considering it's a back-to-back, -back, I don't care if we win by the skin on our chinny-chin-chin. 
As long as we win this game by a half a point, I'm happy because these are veteran players on the second night of a tough back-to-back. -to -back. I'm fine with it. Just get a win. This is the type of win where I will... Um, I'll take anything. Colton Dodd, what's going on? Said, cheers from a Mavs fan. Love your channel. Hey, thank you, Colton, man. We appreciate you. And I, I hope and pray we don't play you in the play-in or playoffs for that matter. I don't want any part of that team. JT said, well, I hope as long as they don't turn the ball over. That's true. Come fourth quarter, you never know what you're going to get from this team. Just never know. Ooh, they're showing Durant's 21 best plays of the or sorry, his week 21 best plays. On that three point shot in the off is mm. with a turnaround. So anybody who's got an issue with Durant, well, the highlights are over. You can't keep watching it. Sponsored by Gila River Resorts and Casino. Mm. Jared says those lazy passes are sus. I I'm not disagreeing just to disagree. I think it's different than lazy. I think it's bad, just like bad. Like I wouldn't categorize it as lazy. I would say it's just like, and this is such a weird word to use with these level of players, but it's like untalented passing. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's like, it can't be untalented. It's more like, trying to think of the word to describe the way that their their turnover passes look they just look like you guessed wrong like you're like oh yeah i can make that and you're like oh shit i couldn't make that pass i thought i could make it so like is that lazy or is that something different is that untalented passing Arrogant. It's like cocky passing. It's like, I can make this pass. Watch this. Dink. Turnover. Two moments ago. All right, here we go. To focus in on Royce O'Neal. 11 points in just seven minutes of play. Currently perfect across the board. How much of a lift has he been coming off the bench? I'm just glad he's playing well. He's being shot aggressive. Uh, we need him to make shots, and that's why he's here. So he's got to continue to stay aggressive. He kind of went through a slump a couple games ago. Stay positive. Stay aggressive. Stay, stay, him, stay true to him, himself. So I think oh, I need really it. I definitely need to pull up the... Playback chat. Okay, TC says sloppy, rushed, overconfident. Yeah, that all those work for me. We just got to keep him off balance. He's a great player. Seeing continuous coverage all night is a little too comfortable. Hunter to the rim, turn around, high arcing fadeaway. I thought it was gonna go in, but no. Nurk with the board. All right, his fifth rebound. Book gets it back to Beal. Kicks it to Nurk. Nurk has to get out of the paint to reestablish in three seconds. Nice no-look passing. Wow, lots of passes. Lots of passes around the horn. Every son touched it, and Durant misses a wing three. Hunter off the backboard, no good. Fouled, though, going to the line. Baseline, and that's going to be foul number four on Devin Booker. This is almost like a carbon copy of last night. It truly is. Uh, he picked up his fourth foul about 30 seconds into. I think the next coaches that you would go to, not that they're going to, but if say it happened, would be Bisdale and then Young. And so that's why it's not no particular order. Vitally important for him to challenge things, especially when he's in foul trouble. Well, and, you know, we've said it countless times, whether it's Booker or any scorer. He had 13 points in the first. Didn't score there in the second. Played the role of facilitator. Beal. 19 minutes, but gets it to Durant. You know, any and off to Nurk. Bench is going to take him out of that scoring. Nurk game. looking for Book. Gets it to him. Between the legs, into the paint, left-handed scoop layup is good for Book. I think he's talking to the ref a little bit about getting a foul. Not going to get it. Don't bark too much. Bogdanovich drives left, kicks it back, gets it back, doubled, get it to Murray, 
Murray drives left, pulls up. Wowee, that is a tough shot, man. Twenty points for the game. That is a tough shot. Six assists as well, averaging just over twenty-two per game. Book to the rack, foul. Going to the line, no good. Oh yeah, Daniel. He's here in spirit. Ooh, scoreboard. Thank you, Derek. Give the layup up because you're going to dominate the two points that you gave up. Suns remain perfect from the line tonight. 12 of 12. Their biggest lead has been nine. Books free throws are good. Taking on this Atlanta team that's been rocked this season with injuries. Murray thought about pulling up from the top of the key. He's got Durant guarding him. Gets it to Hunter. Hunter step back from the, about the elbow. No good. Nerf with the board. Pushes it up. Or Book pushes it to Beal. Beal losing the dribble. Gets it back to Book. Screen from Nerf. They get it to Beal. 11 seconds, he's backing it out. Nurk screen, kicks to Book. Back to Beal, Beal. Down to Nurky. Almost hit a over the head, like behind the back layup, but he is going to the line. Good position. Capella picking up the personal, his second. He just backed Capella back to the locker room. Capella didn't have anywhere else to go. Ah, first free throw, no good. First miss of the night for the Is that Luca Bay ref? Two of three, four point six rebounds. Ten points, Can't fifteen tell rebounds. Here. Last night for twenty. Second free throw. Oh, is good. That's not Luca Bay ref, is it? Bogdanovich for three. Oh, I mean, that is gorgeous. Three point knockdown. Gorgeous. Oh my God, Book's pass to Durant is tapped and stolen by Murray. Murray, we got a little fake Rondo pass. A little fake behind the back uh, fake pass is enough for him to walk to the rim. Grayson saves a bad pass from Beal. Book gets it from Nurk. Back to Nurk. Over to Goose. Into the corner to Durant. Late run out. Good from the corner for Durant. There we go. Murray to Hunter. Capella. Wow. Good, good aggressive take from Capella, but no good. He is fouled and going to the line, though. Third foul on Nurk. Well, the Suns are going to keep getting good looks, obviously. I mean, it's, it's been the case. Weird, Nurkic changed his shoes. He had those green Oregon KDs on, and he's already changed them to some blue shoes, some blue KDs. But Nurkic has got food on that. He didn't think Capella would be offensively aggressive that early in the shot clock. Maybe they felt like they weren't broken in yet. Capella shooting 65%. On the season, seventh straight year that Capella averaging a double double. Capella hits. Players. Each of the last seven years, joining Gobert, Embiid, Book Giannis. bringing it up. He's consistent at what he does. Book to Grayson. There's Backdoor cut to Beal. You gonna say that's on the ground? Are you kidding me, Ref? Are you freaking kidding me? If Crazy fouled him because he knew he'd given up a layup, give him a point. I don't know, freshness. That's tough. I do think the Suns are gonna win this game if that helps. Is that perhaps what Tony Brothers is going to check on? No, that will not be the case as he no. comes over looking for. Maybe if he looks at me, he might say, Eddie, I heard you say something. Suns were supposed to win, right? So just them just winning on the. Yeah, they're going to win. I shouldn't say they're going to win. That's really awfully jinxy. They're probably going to win. Nerd to Beal. 
Goes down now as a Phoenix Charles. Back to Book, back to Beal. Beal to Grayson, pump fake. Grayson to the rack, fouled by Capella. Nurt goes down like he got shot by a 50 cal shotgun, which doesn't exist. Don't look it up. sure Capella even realizes he took a shot to the top of the head. Capella does. He's trying to. Yeah, why do they take points off the board? What's going on? Nurk concussed. We'll an Atlanta timeout, and Tony Brothers and Eric Dalen will go to the monitor. 8.37 to go in the third. <laughs> They're going to check Nurk for some CTE. And, and they'll be right back, folks. All right. So, let's take a look at my prize picks entry today. All right, guys, you know this little channel of ours is brought to you by Prize Picks, our favorite sponsor. And today, here's what I went with. And I don't know if anything's going to hit, okay? But I do need to refresh it. Maybe we get one. Maybe Gordon has a steal already. Can I get that lucky? I got that lucky. All right, Gordon's got my steal. Bradley Beal, I need to get 11 more points. I need him to go on a run. I need Bogdan to get four, five more points from Bog. I need Nurk to dunk the ball one time, and I am already in acceptance that Grayson is not getting 14 points tonight. So, four out of five is great. I will take three out of five because then I still win a little bit. But, uh, you know, nothing helps this channel out more, guys, than when you sign up for prize picks using code VALLEY. Our promotion is still available, all right? Not only is... Uh, Price Picks going to give you a 100% match up to $100 when you sign up using Code Valley. But me and Sundo are offering your free perch purse, your free first piece of merch from the merch shop. I've sent four pieces, I've sent four shirts out, and I think a hat. Uh, if you guys sign up and show us that you signed up in the Discord or, or send it to us on Twitter with a screenshot, we're buying you guys whatever piece of merch you want under $30. And you don't even have to put that much into prize picks. Also, we got you know 22 to 30 people watching us on playback with those VIPs. If you sign up and show us that you used our code, we are also giving you a permanent VIP. So you're getting a shirt or a hat and you're also getting essentially league pass. I mean, honestly, guys, you can't afford not to take this deal. So hook us up, sign up today, and let's get back into the action. Nurt got poked in the eye. In the face. That's what that is. Yeah, Johnny, I don't think they could tell so soon, Still right? I gotten the call from Tony Brothers as he... Glitzy said Grayson's going to hit. Oh, I don't know. The scores table here. I don't know. Yeah, they're not going to even call anything on it. He's got to get hot. And I need him and Beal to get hot. So I guess either of them hitting well, the would be is, it, it not fine foul, by me. Nurkic would have to come back out of the locker room. To attempt the shot if he wanted to continue to play in this game. But, right. Yeah, here's a call from Tony Brothers. The challenge was unsuccessful. Capella fouls Nurkic on the drive after the rebound. Therefore, it was a loose ball foul. It will be Phoenix ball on the side. Well, there goes two points for Grayson right uh, back off of the board. We, we awesome. Saw the green light come on. So I'm not sure if it came on during the timeout, but 
Yeah, well, anyway, there's the wasted, the wasted talent. Eubanks to Beal. Beal into the paint. Beal, three, corner, three. Yum, yum, yum. No, no, no. Come on! Atlanta closing out. Murray. Five game, eight day road trip. They are it's a back from Bogdanovich. Guarded by Booker. Number Crossover, 10, little tween tween, little pull up for the free throw line. Woo! Woo! Trust me, Murray knows it. Yeah, Book's got four fouls. He can't really uh, attack that on defense. Yeah, Angel, the game is hella light. The game didn't start till like 9.45. Durant, mid-range, is good. Oh, you're talking about the stream itself? Yeah, it's it's all AZ family is behind ESPN, unfortunately. Capella. Gets it back, a little jab step. Step through. Wow, what a block from Eubanks. Wow, good shit, Eubanks. I kind of think that might have been a goal 10. I'm not trying to be a hater. Let me see. I think the ball was coming down. It was like a line drive to begin with. It never was going up. Bogdanovich, nice move. Gets it to Murray. Short, Capella, the ball literally goes directly to Capella. Capella, he didn't have to jump or move. Hunter three, no good. Book with the board. And on the fast break, essentially here, if he wants it, crossover, no good, but he is going to the line. Bogdanovich with the foul. So I think it was a foul. The slap to the face was a foul. It just wasn't a foul against the guy who was doing the layup, Grayson. So it didn't give us any points, but we got to inbound. Book hits the free throw. Chaz Roberts, ACM Plumbing, family owned since 1942. Garrison Matthews checks in. He has played now in 19 straight games. As a result of the injuries with this Hawks team. Book's second free throw is good. Suns have a little two-point lead now. Yeah, or like an and one, but like an off-ball and one. Uh, Murray stolen by Book. No! Get it, Goose! At a boy, Goosey! Book sold his uh, body out for that steal and threw it behind his back directly to Grayson. Who probably got a clear path or transition foul? What do they call it? Just a loose ball? Matt, going to the line. Suns are in the bonus with seven minutes left. That's why he's at the line. That's crazy. Yeah, with seven minutes remaining. Yeah, and we have two team fouls themselves. Let's see here. Let me check something. All right, guys, so we're at 180 likes. Remember, we were at 125 by the second quarter. Help us out if we can get to 200 likes by the next dead ball. So that's 20 likes. I'll, I'll give out another free membership. Allen hits the free throws. Four-point lead for the Suns. Matthews. I cannot say this guy's name. How do you say this dude's name? Kreji. Start calling him European. European. Shoots. What the? How did he hit that? He's a nuisance, too, on defense. Signed a two-year deal in December. Durant for three. No good. European uh, challenged it real well. Murray to the rack. Step through. Turn around. Fade away in on the baseline from about maybe four or five feet. Seven feet, they say. Okay. Book. Screen from Eubanks. Nope. Hands it off to Beal. Beal kicks it back to Book. 
Screen from Eubanks. Booker, baseline, into the elbow area. Fade away, super tough Kobe shot, and it's good. Three more likes, guys. Three more likes, and I'm giving out another membership. Capella. That's not a foul, Tony Brothers. I mean, all he did was have a That's... Yeah, they have to challenge it to keep Book from getting his fifth. They have to try. He's saying it was body, not a reach. Man. Ooh, 200 likes! Thank you, folks. Let's get that membership out. I mean, from that angle, it looked like he didn't do a damn thing to him. What do you guys think? All right, here comes the membership. Don't leave the chat. One Memby. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to... Who's it going to... Philip J, come on down, our newest horseman. Horseman. I'll give you horseman. One. Welcome. Thank you guys for liking the stream, man. It just if any of you guys do YouTube yourselves, you know, like the algorithm loves the like button, and then YouTube will actually spread it out to people who don't normally see the stream and all that and you know it's a slurping you gotta slurp the algo you don't slurp you won't get slurped type shit angel says who we got next uh, G uh general freddy says spurs that's gonna be interesting that is gonna be interesting because the sun's really need back-to-back -back wins versus the Spurs when they play them to uh, make up for the two losses they gave to them early in the season. They absolutely have to win both games or it's going to be a super red flag. Um, Arc Lives or Arc Lives says, you think both teams are going to finish with more than 100? Uh... I do. I definitely do. They've been on pace for that for a while. Uh, I think it was like 60 to 55 at halftime. Yeah. They're they're getting a hundo each. Wemby versus Bull Bull says classy, nasty, nah, nah. You would like that, wouldn't you? But Frank's going to stand in the way of that. No. Several minutes at best as the Suns challenge the foul. So the challenge Booker. doesn't work. Book and has five fouls. Oh, that's what's up, Ark. I mean, it was literally like 100 bucks. You know, look, the tough luck. I know I'm not winning my hundred today. It would have been a no call. Grayson been a no show. Beal's been a no show. They gave him the block. Oh my God! Free throws and Durant misses the second free throw, and then the Suns busy fighting for the rebound, slap it out of bounds, and give them the ball again. Well, Suns got to get a stop here, and they'll at least get some retribution from the suspect foul call on Devin Booker. Let's see. All right, so Gordon's in for Booker. Eubanks is in for Nurk. Nurk hasn't come back yet. European to the rack. Whips it to Wesley Matthews for a deep three. And he drills that shit. That was impressive, not going to lie. Atlanta moving back in front. Foul on Krejci. 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 
Krejci fouls Duran. So it's not a smart foul. No matter how you dress it, Krejci, I have to understand, they're in the bonus. Thing. He's being physical with KD. He did his job. I mean, he was going to force KD to catch the 13 ball. 13 points for Durant on 3 from 11 shooting. He's hit That's a win for you. 6 free throws and has 14 points. Yes, he wasn't going to be satisfied until he made him catch the ball. In section 203. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good section, though. He got some good, good views. Durant's free there. throw is good. Durant's the game, his third foul. Murray. Murray waits for the screen. Under five to go here in the third. Gets trapped. Good defense by Grayson. Good defense. No good. Grayson rebound. Pushes it up to Gordon. Gordon! Drills the three, bitch! Let's go! Wow, that was deep, and and he, he was on the run. That's huge. Crazy Over to Matthews. Back to Murray. Back to Matthews. Pump fake. Step through. Kicks it to Hunter. Oh, sorry. Okongwu. Okongwu blocked out of bounds by Eubanks. Eubanks is jazzed up about it. We got 400 watching. We got to get another goal here for likes. So let's go. Let's say. Let me look and see what we got. We're at 212. 250. By the end of the quarter, and I'm gifting out another membership. Good defense there. Help us get to 250 likes, y'all. Sund with seven blocks. On that the membership ice. does come with a slurping from Sundo, so don't forget about that. With three of the seven. Gort pump fake. Gordon to the rack. Kicks it out to Grayson. Grayson for three. Let's get Grey Goose going. What do you say? Murray bringing it up. Murray downhill to the rack. No good. Okongwu slaps it in, though. Put back. Grayson gives it to Eubanks. Eubanks hand off to Durant. Tries to get it back. That's a... It's a bad pass. Durant is pissed at himself. And they get another layup. Beal to Grayson. Grayson to the rack. Into the corner to Gordon. Pump fake. Back to Grayson. Open three. Late run out. He got fouled. Let's go. Four point play. I need this win. My brother says, "All right, they want to take a look." I need this win. And Eric Dalen coming over. Matthews, not Wesley, the other Matthews. Garrison Matthews looks like a combination of a leprechaun and a meth head. For Grayson Allen as well, and they did not. Apparently Just not. saying. There was a foul under the basket that we did not see. That was Eubanks. And Garrison Matthews mm. for Atlanta. Yeah, I think Grayson thought that he was going to be at the line for the four point play. Mm. Think about it, the Suns really have lost maybe two starters here, right? Devin on the bench with five fouls. He's limited. And then Nurkic. Right. Kongu with, with the floater inside the free throw line at about the well, dotted line. That was nice. Durant bringing it up. Guarded by Hunter. Screen from Eubanks. Gets it to Eubanks. Over to Royce. Royce pass fake. Goes to the rack. Gets it to Eubanks for the dunk. Great action from Royce O'Neal. Great to to Okongwu. Pull up for Hunter. No good. Eubanks board. Kicks it to Gordon. Gordon pushing the ball up the court. Gordon! Deep three! For the 
Did we get to 250 before the timeout? Oh, wait. I said end of the quarter. Never mind. I'm tripping. Look at me trying to move the damn goalpost. We're at 221. Got to get to 250 by the end of the third for another free membership. Bro, Gordon getting it together and hitting threes. Nothing makes me happier, man. I'm the biggest Eric Gordon stan. You guys know how I love my mid-tier players. And Gordon is my guy. I believe in him so much. And he's been very underwhelming. And I've been sticking with the story that it's because he's always getting injured and coming in and out of the lineup and he can't get any consistency. That's two at least deep pulls from three. Yeah, two. He's two for three. Deep pulls from three. Deep dribbling into it, not just catch and shoot. That's a different type of... That's just a different level of shooter. If you guys hoop, you know what I'm talking about. For the most part, dribbling into deep threes is way tougher than catching and shooting. Much respect to Gordon. Ralph says, Gordon plays better when he knows he is more central to the game. Definitely. Definitely. Aiden says, hell yeah. Thank you, Thickums. I forgot he is our Thickums. Especially when Sundo's not here. Hunter, left-handed to the rack. Kick it out. Reverse layup from Okongwu is good. Damn. That was kind of pretty. Don't rotate to that guy. That Gordon bringing it up, kicks it to Durant across half court. Durant's got Eubanks setting screens. Pull up in a Kong Wu's face, no good. Rebound Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich, step back three. Woof! That's a white boy killer. Okay. That's a killer. Uh-oh. Royce loses it. Bogdanovich to the rack. Blocked from behind by Durant. And Bogdanovich is acting like uh, he got hit in the head. But, I mean, I don't think that was a foul. Ooh, be calm. See clearly. $2 Dono says, I don't think Tony likes us at all. Great point, man. I am, I'm growing sick and tired of Tony Brothers. Cedric, you wish and I wish, but Frankie is not going to do it. Maybe Gordon did not see him back here, but that's when he was taking advantage. Screen from Bogdanovich. There's Trent Forrest. Gets it from Forrest. Bogdanovich to the rack. Kicks it out to the corner to a Kongwu for three. No good. Great rebound from Forrest. Gives it back to Bogdanovich at the corner. Step through. They kick it out to Hunter for three, and he ropes that bitch from deep. You know, the Suns built that nine-point lead, and Atlanta has now hit six of their last seven from the field. One-point game again. Hunter with 16, Atlanta 11. Royce inbounding to Gordon. No lead is safe, and this game is so vitally important. 38 seconds. We got to get to 250 likes, and I'm giving out a membership. I don't know where we're at. Peer pressure each other into hitting the like. Grayson, turnaround fadeaway is good. 232. Oh, it's cutting it close, guys. 18 likes in 30 seconds. I don't know. Bogdanovich driving right, snatching back. Come on. Little rocker step from Hunter. He kicks it into the corner to Forrest for three. He had too much time. Misses. Rebound from O'Neal. Point O'Neal. Hands it off to Durant. He's doubled. Grayson gets the tipped pass. Royce, crossover, crossover, step back. After the buzzer, though, I don't think it would have counted. And Suns are only up three after having quite 
the lead, might I say so. 244, I think that's pretty close. Can we get six more likes real quick before we come back? I'll I'll extend it until till we get back because that's actually a pretty decent jump there. It's a pretty good jump. Two forty-five. All right, all right. Uh, Twenty-two km says these mofo's always play down to competition, down or up. Sometimes not even up. Right? That's the scary part. Sometimes they don't even play up. Uh, Freshness said these sons are the most frustrating team to watch. Unreal. Well, the. Things did change a little bit when Book went out. Like, we went on a run, but then we were not able to sustain it. And I don't know. John Rose says, y'all need to chill on KD. I agree with that statement. He's allowed to have bad games. He's allowed to have bad games. Precious says, KD hasn't been good for the past seven games, effectively cooking my statement. You're right. It's been bad. Everybody's allowed to have bad streaks of games Maurice Jones it's a AI me and Tori told a AI we described Sundo and then said you know if you could see the bottom half of this picture Jesus is off to the right of him looking at him very pleased it's a it's a whole AI production all right we're not back yet I thought we were 248, need two more likes before we come back. One more like, 249, and I'm giving out the membership. I might as well pony up right now. Who am I kidding? There we go, 250. Uh, another membership on the way. My wife is going to be like, what are you doing? You know? You guys know what it's like. Who's it gonna be? Who's the newest horseman? To Quan! Welcome back, Quan. It is so good to have you back in the horseman! Horseman! Family. That is the fifth time this season that he has had a. All right. Beal over to Gordon. Nurk back in the game finally. Gets it to Beal. Beal kicks it down to Nurk. He's got Murray on him. Doubled. Kicks it to Royce. Gordon! Gordon's hot, folks. Baby boy Gordon is back. Never told the three point line. He's like three feet yeah, Booker can return, but he's got five, so he'll have to be careful when he does. And we probably want to bring him back in the most crucial moments of the fourth, you know, like that, like very end. Probably the last five for five or four minutes. Hunter had just eight points by the Lakers on Monday night. Kicks it back to Nurk. Nurk. Bulls back in the game. We'll see how long that stands. Nurk kind of traveled by dribbling over his own head, but Gordon! That one was contested, folks. That one was contested. Murray, downhill left, kicks it to Garrison Matthews. Fouled on the three by Royce O'Neal going to the line. Uh, Grayson has, I think, like, eight, like, maybe eight or 11 points or something like that. At most, I think, eight. Yeah. Which I needed him to hit 14 for my picks. But, One of the things we don't see a lot you know. of anymore, and I think guys have gotten better at it, is fouling guys taking threes. Yes. As I continue to say, how many blocks are really tabulated during the course of a season of a guy getting his three blocks? Right. It is not desperation. 
Shot clock running down. I see it. A. A. Ron said, Tony Boomer play. Brothers yeah, works for Vegas so and hates Book for some reason. Don't challenge it that aggressively because you're not going to block it anyway. Very possible. Matthew, 17 minutes off the bench. Beal bringing the ball up. Beal's been doing absolutely nothing offensively. Goes baseline, shoots a midi, not even close. Back iron. Hunter, pick and roll with Okongwu. Pulls the free throw, no good. Free throw line jumper. Gordon with the rebound. Pushes it up to Royce. Royce back to Nurk. Hand off to Beal. Beal, nice pass to Nurky. Come on, Nurk! I need one goddamn dunk from you! But able to generate the foul. Nurk has had at least three and ones tonight that did not go for him. I need this man to dunk the ball one time, man. One time. He's standing under the rim with people behind him, and he won't dunk the ball. Make sure you make that layup because of the free throw line. At least you got two. Well, we're always looking forward to checking in with the fans and having them tell us where you're watching the game and post your photo. Ooh, James says Allen has 13. That's nice. I did not know that. Valley Chevy Dealers. Murray kicks it to Bogdanovich, drives left, kicks it out to Matthews. Left-handed floater, no good. That was a tough shot if you're not left-handed. Royce to Beal, screen from Nurk. Kicks it over to Royce, Royce pulls the three. He's been hot! Like, we can't lose this game when all of our, our role players are hitting their threes, man. We can't. Luigi O with the $50 Mexican pesos says, Imagine being the GM of the Suns cooking up sign-in trades only to watch your head coach squander everything you do. I would fire that dude. I agree, Luigi O. Or, yeah, Luigi O. And, and uh, thank you for the dono, man. Wow. Shot clock violation. Good defense from the Suns on that possession. I like that that hashtag, Quan. Free as a BK. Gordon, pump fake to the rack. Kicks it back to Beal for three. Yum, 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 yum. I really needed that. I really needed that. Thank you, Beal. Thank you. Thank you, Suns, for hitting threes. We're four for four in the fourth. No fourth quarter. Meltdown yet. Bogdanovich trapped. Kicks to Okongwu. Over to Matthews. Back to Murray. Open three. No good. Billboard. I'll pull him up again in a second, James. Nurk. Uh between Matthews and O'Neal as Nurkic. Oh boy. Beautiful part about what's going on is I needed 14 points for Grayson, one steal from Gordon. And it's the full fourth. 18 points for Beal. Nurk whips it. Slapped out of bounds. Uh I laugh sometimes at Nurk. Yeah, let me pull him up real quick. I can't remember. Any pass. I feel like he's watched a lot of Magic Johnson. 18 points for Bogdanovich. 14 Grayson. One dunk from Nurk. 18 from Beal. Nurkic to Bull Bull. Open corner three. Let's go, Bull Bull! But no, Frank. Don't you dare play him more than... 10 minutes a game, you German bald fuck. Let there be threes. Everybody joining the party here off the bench. And probably the best game of the year uh, for the Suns Reserves. They yeah, Suns rolling. role players are going wild.
SB1993 said, Frank, there's a reason to mess with this lineup. Yes, man. Yes. Uh, Green42 says, we need bowl. Uh, we need to see bowl and IT. That would be awesome. Um, I don't think we're going to get up, but well, maybe, I mean, we are ga we are growing the lead, but you got to imagine this timeout is going to equate to Atlanta playing a lot smarter basketball out of the timeout. Glitzy says, why is Grayson out of the game? I think he's just getting a little bit of rest before the clutch time of the fourth quarter. You know, he played a little bit extra because Booker came out, uh, with five fouls. So I would imagine book and Grayson will come in to close out the game. And there's a little over seven minutes left, so there's time. LOL prediction says Bull playing so well, Vogel going to quit playing him so he won't get showed up for not giving him minutes. So petty, but it's almost true, right? Um, GG Xenon said, where's Kevin Durant? I think he's also just getting some rest. And the role players are handling their business. They're standing on business right now. So Frank is leaving them in there to, to, I mean, they've gone on a run. Like, keep them starters out if the role players are the ones getting her done. Almost back. Angel said, can we keep it up? I don't think we can keep it up to this degree. 16 to 5 is pretty crazy in the fourth. I think they'll get it closer. But I, like I was saying earlier, I just felt like the Suns took, um, in the second quarter, they really took control of this game. And they, there's been waves from Atlanta because they've been shooting decent too. But, I'll get away from my way of saying it you know, for the people that listen. So Eddie, that's not the word. I, I think we're good. I want when they're hot. Okay? <laughs> and they are hot. All right, and you love the fact that they're doing this here in the fourth quarter. And then you also love the fact that they're doing this with Devin Booker and Kevin Durant on the bench. I love and Grayson it. on the bench. They should love it. And if I'm Frank Bogle right now, based on the struggles of the fourth quarter. Gordon's still in the game. My beautiful, beautiful thickums. Bull Bull, my beautiful, sweet unicorn. Baby boy Bradley Beal in the game. My beautiful third superstar who can't score to save his life right now. Murray picks it to Kreji. Over to Wesley Matthews. No, not Wesley Matthews. Garrison Matthews. They look so much alike, I'm confused. I don't see color. That's it. If he shoots the ball over your hand and he makes it, good. I think they're going to review this for a reckless closeout, perhaps, as Eric Dillon and Tony Brown. Quan said, All my friends are fans. So Hawks fans, you need this game to flex on them. I think you'll be able to. Maybe to a racist like you, Malo, but to me, I see Garrison Matthews and Wesley Matthews as equals. All right. Oh no, he, he didn't even step right under him. He he did a two-step. Yeah, I. Now watch it. He, he did a two-step. Now watch his first step. Control, control, control. Two times. It does not it's a hell of an air ball. To meet the criteria, but Angel Sundo is in been, Betty uh, by to be a foul, snoozing away. A couple times. Really on the floor, common foul, three shots. Suns can't win, no challenges. Second time in the last two and a half minutes for Garrison Matthews. I guess they were trying to say maybe he did a uh, Zaza Pacheep shot. I didn't see that at all. Oh, vision. What would Sundo be dreaming about? Dreaming about playing guitar at a Trump rally. While drinking his Mella drink. And eagles flying over him. You know? While Jesus is on lead vocals. Yeah, he's not bad, Caius. Yeah, you're asking a little too much of three free throws. Yeah, well, you know. 
I mean, I understand. You get greedy. You know, you, you got a chicken sandwich little thick. last night. And it's, it's good. You know, a little you thick. You, you went and got you one? Uh, no. Free throw's good. No, I, I, I try to... 12-point lead for the Suns. If I get the chicken sandwiches. No. <laughs> tired, TC? You get up early, too? Uh-oh! No good. Open three. Yo! My boy, Bull Bull, got taken to the ground, bro. That's a trip. Beal whips it up to Royce for a fast break almost, but he's just going to slow it down and get it back to Beal. Down to Nurk. Back to Beal. Beal down to Nurk. Nurk almost gets an and one. Going to the line. Let's hope so, Goat NBA. Let's hope so. Let's hope that's not a whole lot of cope. It's continued to, to bother men, understandably so. You get it hit probably several times every game as we get a message from our friends at Kia. Durant coming in wearing a dope ass uh, PE version of his Kevin Durant 16s that I'm not allowed to buy because they're just PEs. All his best colorways are only for him. I hate it. These guys should get a stand in how well they play. Grayson Allen back in the game. Let's go. We'll take a seat. Nurk hits the free throw. Good to see Nurk getting back a little bit of that free throw shooting rhythm. Five of eight tonight. Murray. Murray fouled on the three by Durant. I've never seen so many. Third time in the last three and a half Don't be hurt, Durant. Durant hurt his trap. We're going to look at this one as well. Hurt his right upper trapezius or his shoulder. Deltoid. Great. Tony Brothers, I got it. Okay, Tony. Oh man, Xenon, I need Beal too. I need Beal to get eight more points. He just ain't getting it, bro. Oh yeah, he, he kind of hit him instead of. KD nowhere in the vicinity. Oh, KD, don't be hurt, baby. Don't be hurt. Just don't be hurt. Flagrant foul penalty one. Three shots plus possession. Flagrant foul on Durant for that shit. How is that a flagrant when Murray is That's the, the worst flagrant call I've ever seen. Durant appeared to like turn, almost had his back to Murray. Yeah, and, and Murray is the one who came down and made contact with the shoulder of Durant. Tony Brothers is on prize is picks. I just hope he used code Valley, which gives him a bonus of a hundred a hundred percent. Up to a hundred dollars. Code Valley. Ruben said, ball don't lie, bitch. Yeah, at least one went out. Let's see if we can get another free throw to miss. Come on, ball, 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 ball. Makes the second. Let's have a flight to catch. Hmm. <laughs> Tony's a tremendous official. Uh, he's no nonsense. Yeah. And so I guess I kind of like You know it, Vision. That's what it is. Miss again, DeJount. Damn it, he hit. Deontay Murray is the one that really calls the contact. There. Deontay well, Murray or DeJounte you, you Murray? Somewhat kind of begrudgingly take the foul, but the fact that it was deemed a flagrant is what I find the Murray most into Congo. Get Gets it back. He's got Grayson on him. Takes him off the dribble. The Steps wall. through. These refs and they're gonna say last are on players. one, bro. On one. The team has a challenge to work with, so... Not sure all the Suns players yeah, realize that. Yeah, officials can relax now. That's why. Murray to Okongwu. Back to Matthews. Back to Okongwu. And 
Devin, Devin was the weak side guy. Good. So if Devin goes over there, he's out. A little quick dunk. So again, that's what I say. 106, 113. Oh, Grayson gets it back from Book. Back to Grayson. Please, Gray. Please, Gray. Damn it. Uh, Murray to Garrison Matthews for three. No good. Book with the rebound, but he loses it. Out of bounds. Last touch by him and Nurky. Damn. They're coming back with Capella, Hunter, and Bogdanovich. Yeah. Just when it appeared the Suns were going to create some separation, having built their lead to 14. Murray in the corner. Murray. Maybe a reverse. Murray nope. Going to kick it to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich in the on the wing, trapped. Kicks it to Capella. Ugliest hook shot you've ever seen. And I'm I'm talking everybody who's watched Busy play for multiple seasons. That was the worst hook shot or push little uh, floater I've ever seen. Wow. We know he and Claude are watching. Beal snatch back, kicks to Book. Back to Beal. Screen from Nurt, kicks to Book. Book. Back to Beal, over to Durant. Durant into the paint, pulls up. Little floater is good over Capella. Let's go. Timeout Hawks. Cole and Michael says, come on, Suns. Keep a 6-10 to 10 point lead. That'd be nice if they could do that. That would be super. Uh, it's probably for your parlay, right? Which I understand. Good luck. But that would be really nice considering it's a back-to-back. -back and this is a team that cooked the Clippers recently. So, you know, you know they're not a terrible opponent. They're a team that can get wins against better teams. Second night of a back-to-back -to, -back to beat them by a 10-point margin would actually calm me down quite a bit. It might fool me into starting to believe that the Suns might be getting a little better. And we know they don't have a lot of time to get a lot better, right? Xenon said Durant, eight points. He needs to start stroking. What does he have? 17? You need eight more points? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Lester says, have you seen the KD 17s? I thought that I saw them, but I didn't know if it was real or not. Like, it was like a leak. I don't know, but I'll buy them. I've got KD 16s right now. I've been playing in them uh, for the last couple months. They are like, th this is what they are. I was thinking about it when I was playing on Wednesday. The KD 16s feel like when you would go over to your rich friend's house when you're a kid and you would sit, or maybe you are the rich kid, but you would sit on their couch and it was like a luxury couch that you could tell was probably more expensive than your parents' car. That's how they feel on your feet. Strail, dude. Ooh, we got an Adam Lee dono. $5, appreciate it. Said you're hilarious and you match the energy of the game very well. Go KD. Thank you, Adam, man. I appreciate it, man. Glad to have you. SWO said, I need 25 uh, from Durant. I don't know. They got to pretty much go through him the whole time. Challenging you at the rim. And we know Drew Eubanks, and he does that. He does not shy away from the challenge at the rim. His energy tonight was huge. Uh, you know, yeah, seven so, points, one yeah. of his three blocks there. The Suns with eight as a team tonight. The stats don't really tell, though, how impactful he was. Especially yeah, Eubanks had a good night. If Nurkic would come back in. Right. He had to go to the locker room. Yeah, contested another handful of shots as well. Capella, top of the key. Hand off to Hunter, pump fake, goes to the rack. Woof, no good. Good foul on Beal to keep him from making that shot. But he is going to get free throws. 
within striking distance with all the fouling that has taken place here in this. Okay, Lester. Yeah, I did see that. I, I then if those are the real ones, I'm expecting to see some cool colorways <coughs> of that shoe. Hunter's free throw is good. So and their second chance points each. They have outscored the Suns in second chance points 27 to 8. Mick, what a topic. Derek. What a rare game in where the Hunter hits both. Has given up more points on turnovers than the Suns. Oh, uh, never in the bonus in the fourth. Yeah. I never noticed it until you said it. Beal screen from Nurk. Tried to pass it to Nurk, but it was wild, and it's stolen by Bogdanovich. Crosses up Nurk. Alley oop to Capella. A whoopsie poopsie. It's 110, 115, folks. Hold on to your hats. Hold on to your sombreros. Book to Beal. Whips it to Durant. Down to Nurk on the block. Seven on the shot clock. Goes to the rack, gets blocked by Capella. Murray, snatch back, kicks it to Kreji. No good for Krejci, thank God. Bruley, let me see if I can squeeze you VIP. Book, top of the key. Whip pass to Beal, tipped by Murray, and then Books or Beal steps out of bounds. God! They're making up their mind. They don't want Devin to have the ball. So, Bradley Beal, I'm like, let me get it and then put you below the free throw line and see if I can get you that way. But they're committed to not allowing Devin to get going. Murray, 26 points, 10 assists, 8 rebounds. Murray, top of the key. Had 22 in the first meeting, an Atlanta win back in early February. Capella inside. Capella misses. Allen in transition. Allen over to Beal in the corner. Pump fake. Back to, to Gray. Please, Gray, please. I need you to make one more point, Grayson. Just one. Sons an extra possession. The clock is your friend. Just one, Grayson. Just one. Durant drives. Floater. It's good. Mm. And that shows you. That helps you guys out that need Durant to score more. There's no strength there at times, please. Hunter did everything he could to just make it tough on him. He just warmed his way right to the rim. Murray, spin move, offensive foul on Beal. I hope his nose is okay. Please tell me his nose is okay. Please. Had that face beat up. He's already had his nose broken once this year, and that was a direct shot. The good news is Brad is at least up on offensive foul charge to number five for Atlanta. To the play has been I don't think it was yeah, super flagrant. I feel like I feel like here's the thing. Um, DeJounte's been getting downhill and going to the rim with like super ease this game. Beal slid with him like Kawhi Leonard in his prime. Beal was all up on his ass, you know, pausing AO. And DeJounte was just trying to create separation. Let's see. Okay, they hooked each other a little bit. Oh, okay. So it was definitely not his nose. He got he took a shot to like, if you know that like uh tender part of your jaw that if somebody pushes on it, it hurts. It looks like he got rocked right on that by an elbow. And Murray fucking hooked his elbow. Yeah, that's flagrant as fuck. That is flagrant. And so that's the way that yeah. you look at it. Guys, we're at 264 likes. It's not bad, but we got over 500 in here, so help us out. Next goal, we need to get to 300 likes by the end of the game. 300 likes, and I'm giving out another membership. Should be doable. 
Beal looks fine on the bench. He's not even, you know, he's moving his jaw around a little bit, but. Let's not get a Kendrick Lamar copyright strike. What do you say? 274 likes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We're close now. I think we're going to get it. Are they going to give him a double flag or a single flag? I think it should be a single flagrant. But sometimes they treat things differently when it's a, when it's um above the neck or above the shoulders or whatever. So we'll see. Let's go, Derek. Angel thinks flagrant one. For the two shots plus possession. Flagrant one. Well, Atlanta was the beneficiary of a flagrant one on Kevin Durant earlier in the quarter. The Suns will get it back here. And Ryan Christian, a, I hope so. Right, I hope you are right. Feel is okay. I really do. It was not intentional, wasn't malicious, but clearly as he came around, yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all the time, he still hope for an advantage. Yeah, this is clear. Beal at the line after having his really bell rung. Is, like, First free throw is good to go. Murray and Durant to actually go for the shoulder, giggling together about something. Anything, but again, it doesn't matter. It's flagrant, it's flagrant. Oh, he he yelled short because he yeah, thought his free throw was going to miss. But it hit the rim, bounced up and in. And more importantly, Suns get the possession here with 326 to go in the Beal gets the ball, handed it off to Durant, over to Book, back to Beal, screen from Nurky, going to the paint, kicks it to an open Durant in the corner. What a pass. No good. Capella rebound. Murray with it, guarded by Durant. Hezzy, blow by. Blocked off the backboard by Durant. Book comes away with the rebound. Another block shot here tonight. Kevin Durant continually showing his defensive skill. Book getting a screen from Nurk. Pulls up. Look at the flick of that wrist. The wrist! That might have been the dagger, folks. That could have been the dagger. Bogdanovich with a sidestep three. Leaves that one short. Loose ball trickles back out to him. Uh oh. Bogdanovich back to Murray. Murray drills a corner three. Not good. Beal. Tween, tween. Getting crossed half court. Tween. Kick to book. New come again, just based on who they were missing, that he would be ultra aggressive. And Nurk gets fouled on the screen, or sold it, or they're calling him on a foul. Tony Brothers is on one, folks. Tony Brothers is. He he needs to be locked in jail. What a block by Durant. Thinking he was going to go in front of the rim didn't work. KD with three blocks. Dubax with three blocks. Murray driving left. Kicks it back. Gets it in the corner. Takes a bump. Jab step. Going to fade. Gets a tough contested shot. No good. Nurk with the board. Hands it off to Book. Suns up. Nine. Book has to call a timeout because he got so trapped in the corner. Oh, my gosh. There we go. All right. This has been a great game. It's been a test, but a test that the Suns have passed, you know, so far. Don't want to get too ahead of myself because we know how late last second threes can hit. Concho says 10 more likes. Are we almost at 300 for Sundo? 291, nine more likes. I'm giving out another free membership. I'll make sure Sundo matches those next stream. Just kidding. Really good win for the Suns, man. I, I, I feel bad saying that before it's over, but I do feel safe. I was saying this at halftime. 
that I thought we were going to win. But, God, who changed their name to Gabe Guerrero? Good Lord, that is so creepy. That is creepy. That is identity theft. But we do need a, a fake Sundo account, too. In San Antonio against Victor and the Spurs. Sun's game time beginning at 4.30 p.m. Sundo, they season high 20 made threes tonight, Eve. 20 of 38. They hit 19 last night. Nurkic versus Wemby. That should be interesting. Like see is we get ready to embark on this last long <coughs> road trip of the season. Yeah, and, you know, you want the getaway game. And it was imperative, I think, the Suns. Yo, Gold Rocks. Here at home. Gold Rocks, I'll see if I have one free for you in uh, playback if you want to watch the end of this game. Two early season victories and the Spurs no doubt playing better. Pull up from Book. Oh, that would have been an that would have been a crazy dagger. Murray in transition. Kicks it to Hunter. Over to Cresci. No good. Rebound Beal. Big rebound from Beal. He gives it up to Durant. Suns in this sellout crowd, 117 consecutive sellout crowd. Starting to sense. Beal okay. to Nurk. Back to Grayson. Back to Beal. Beal over to Book for three in the corner, and he drills it. Suns up 12 with a minute to go. You got to think they're safe here. Bogdanovich bringing it up. Crossover. Kicks it to Murray. Murray dribbling downhill. Stops. Kicks it into the corner. They get it to Capella. Capella to Hunter. Hunter throws up some bull jive. And they call a foul on Grayson. Un unbelievable. Like, I've never felt like a ref was so clearly playing prize picks or something like that. Well, really, like, at this point when you're up. This is wild. To stay there and contest. If he makes it, he makes it. But to allow him now to have an opportunity with two free throws and then doing it with the shot clock stopped, is that's the one that you don't like. Here you see a guy that is itching to get back on the floor. Expected to be on another week or so after Hunter hits the free throw. <clears throat> averaging nearly 27 points per game. 10 point lead for the Suns. Booker has it. Book to Beal. Early second of the league in assists. Beal to Grayson. Beal dribbling out the clock. The Suns might not even take another shot. He kicks it to Book. Book takes another three and fucking drills it. Let's go. I thought they were just going to play it coy and just dribble out the clock. Let's see if the Hawks do that here. Like I, It would not upset me if the Hawks took a final three, but Bogdanovich is just going to dribble it out. The Suns hold off a gritty effort. This, this is payback, man. We had to get this payback. Wow. Suns win. Suns win. 128, 115. Time for the post game show and post game press conferences. You guys don't have to go anywhere because I will have that for you here on screen. Let's turn this down just a little bit for the song. And it looks like, I don't know. Who do you guys think they're going to talk to? Booker? Yep, Devin Booker. For D -book. Book, no Trey Young tonight, but this Hawks team wouldn't go away. Everything was running through Jamonte Murray. Just how are you guys able to create separation at the end and, and grab this one? Uh, just keep playing. You know, what up, Wes? Uh, we had a big game from Eric. You know, I went out with foul trouble, and the guys held it down and, you know, extended the lead. Um, but credit that team. They play hard, and they're scrappy the whole night. You also just look to a new season high in threes for this team. How are you able to be so effective from beyond the arc? I mean, we have space. You know what I'm saying? The we have a real lot of threats out there. Just wait till he sees for, that. You know, we don't know who it is oh, who's going to be night tonight, but, you know, we're getting good looks. We're sharing the ball, and it's popping around. 
Suns outscored their bench 47 to 26. What did you just see from the depth that was on display tonight? Uh, that's what I was speaking on earlier. Just came in ready to play. Um, I mean, that's the name of this group. We have a lot of good veterans um, that have been waiting on this time of year. So, you know, it's time to turn it up a bit and have fun with it. Book, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, is it time now, Indeed. Book? Couldn't okay. Agree more, Book. Time okay. to turn it up. He did 30 points. Well, there you have it. Uh, they'll obviously, well, hopefully they'll have some post-game interviews, and we'll all have that for you guys as well. Um, but, yeah, welcome in Suns Valley post-game show brought to you by Prize Picks. Let's get right into these stats. 19 points for Durant. I'm sorry to everybody who, uh, you know, picked his over to hit. It was probably, what, 24 and a half, right? Just not a great shooting night once again. Um, three blocks, though. Okay, so 19 points is, is really good in the NBA. But not when you're Kevin Durant, right? You're supposed to score more than that. But at least he had a really good defensive effort, got some good crucial stops to help this game be that comfortable win that has eluded Phoenix. Like, I mean, when's the last time we had a comfortable win, guys and girls? When's the last time? Nurkic played real hard. He got it together after only having like four and four at halftime versus Capella. Uh, he was at a negative 15 or a negative 13, something like that, and he got that up to a minus five. Took a hard shot in the head, uh, went out for a while. Only one for five, but that, like, if there's one thing Clint Capella does is it's, it's rebound and fight hard in the paint, just like Nurk. He's a worthy opponent for Nurk. That type of thing is going to happen. Bradley Beal. I guess it's not as bad as it looks. It's like he's just not... You guys, can you see from these stats, this is what I'm talking about when I was explaining the great point Gary had made to me about Beal. <clears throat> when you're asking him to be a true point guard, you're muting his ability to do what he does best, which is be a Devin Booker-esque scorer. Mid-ranges, get into the rack, hitting threes, three levels... <clears throat> he's a killer. He's a murderer. But you're asking this murderer to go in there and just play like a facilitator. Um, and you're not going to get the output night in, night out that you want scoring wise. But he is a plus 17 tonight. <clears throat> Even with five turnovers, a plus 17. And he had nine assists and a block. Pitch in with four rebounds. And... I guess 12 points is just not good enough, right? Like, to, to make you happy. You're not going to be happy when you see that Bradley Beal only scored 12 points. But very good effort from him in 37 minutes tonight. Um, Grayson Allen, 13 points, four assists, two blocks and a steal. He was helpful, you know, but the Hawks guard him differently than the teams that he explodes on. This is two games in a row versus the Hawks, at least. This is two Hawks games this season where Grayson's now averaging 12 points per game versus the Hawks. I don't think that's a mistake. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's just the way that they scheme for him. And we were lucky that we had the likes of Eric Gordon and Royce O'Neal hot as well tonight like good shooting from Grayson I'll take three for seven any day that's that's really good three-point shooting Booker however really got it together and it's funny because I was talking to Gary before the stream and I was complaining <clears throat> about Booker's three-point shooting and I'm like man I just can't wait until he can hit threes again because it makes him a different player it makes him this like unstoppable force and he hasn't been the unstoppable force ever since he got injured with his ankle and he's playing through the ankle tonight we got to see a little bit of that unstoppable booker force six for eight from three baby and 10 from 15 from the field 30 efficient delicious points i don't know how he's a negative 10 that makes no sense to me because he only had two turnovers must be that they count fouls uh, heavily, right? I think that's got to be it. 
The Real Sundo says, no IT, no IT. I tried to tell you guys, I told you guys on Bleacher Report podcast that we did on Wednesday, it's not happening. It's unfortunate, and I want it just as much as any of you want it. Not going to happen. Royce O'Neal went brazy tonight. He was four for four from three at one point, or three for three. He ends up four for six, plus 13, 14 points, one block, couple of assists, pitches in with five rebounds, and like I was saying, this is what we traded for. This is why we were we moved four players for essentially one, because as you can see, Roddy doesn't really count because Frank will never use him. But this is what we traded four players for one for. Nights like this. And if he can just do this once per, I would hope more. But if you're getting one good game out of Royce every playoffs like this where he's efficient, like that can carry you through a playoff game that's dicey. We know that the, the playoff games are crazy. <clears throat> Drew Eubanks had a good game. He played 16 minutes. He was a plus 18. Seven points, three blocks, four rebounds. Only missed one shot. And that one shot, if you remember, was at the buzzer of the first quarter. They throw it into book. He's doubled. He whips it to Drew with less than a second, like just about one second. And he flipped up a floater from the free throw line. That's the only shot he missed. He did good. You done good, Eubanks. Bull Bull got his standard 11 minutes. And if plus minus means anything to you, he had the leading plus minus on the team. Plus 21. Only five points. He hit one of two threes. Hit a couple of free throws. Three assists. Sorry, three rebounds two assists, and a block. I liked what I saw. I guess with Frank's lineups, the way Frank does his thing, the way like like a, a dictator that doesn't care about what anyone else thinks, maybe we should just be grateful that we're getting 11 minutes of Bull because we could just as easily have Bull. Like we had to peer pressure the fook out of Frank Vogel to start playing bull. And now he has just, but we're not going to get that much. And then Eric Gordon, my thick, handsome, suave man, 21 points, four for six from three. They was deep threes. They was threes off the dribble. They was efficient. They was, they was, oh, they was beautiful, okay? Eight for 11. He scored four times at the rim or in the mid-range as well, and Gordon gave you five assists. Second highest assists on the team, and Gordon gave you two steals. So I know you guys have been upset with Gordon. I have been disappointed and had to admit that I was too high on him, but I have always said if he can get healthy and in a rhythm, he's just going to be another Grayson Allen. And tonight, that was another Grayson Allen. That was a thick Grayson Allen out there. You cannot convince me otherwise. And that's what makes the sun special. Actually, the Suns aren't special. That's what should make the Suns special. That's what was supposed to make the Suns special. You have the big three, which should be this self-governing, self-producing entity of itself that is just a blur and whir of points. But on the side... And in the, in the meantime, if they're not playing well, you're supposed to have Grayson and you're supposed to have Gordon and now Royce, also legitimate three-point threats. 
And then Nurk is there to do all that dirty work and just clean stuff up and make crisp passes to those players. It's supposed to be beautiful. And tonight, it kind of was beautiful. There were beautiful moments in this game. Um, DC says, some of y'all just throw shh on the wall and hope it sticks. Vogel does a great job. Get to bed to finish up the week tomorrow, fellas. Hashtag day jobs. Uh, I think there's two big things with Frank DC that are frustrating. The rotations. Everybody knows that Bull Bull should get more minutes. And everybody wants Isaiah Thomas to get minutes. But I could argue that Nasir Little deserves some time. And David Roddy. You could also argue that Thad Young deserves to play most of the time over Eubanks. So there are questions there about his rotations. The other thing is the three-pointer, the three-point line always being left alone. Make no mistake, the Hawks shot below average three-pointers tonight, and that helped us win. 12 for 35, 34% from three while the sun shot 53.7. That's what code would call living and dying by the three. We lived by the three tonight, but a lot of times we die. And on the as far as stopping the other team, we never do that. Like T'Challa said, we don't do that here. Okay? Type shit. So DC, no, I love you. I just have to disagree a little bit on the Frankie stuff. Okay, okay. It says Frank Vogel's a great coach. Y'all, y'all judge Frank by not playing IT. Stop. It's more than that. It is more than that. Um, Car Life says IT there for locker room only. I doubt it. I doubt that's what the front office of the Suns had in mind when they brought him in. I bet you they were like, hey, Frank, we notice because, uh, you know, I, James Jones, am a, a champion. I've won NBA titles. Uh, Ishbia, you know, the guy upstairs who's won a national title as a walk on five foot nine point guard at Michigan State. He knows basketball. We were thinking you kind of seem like you need a ball handler to help facilitate so that the turnovers could cut down so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get you it who's averaging over 32 points a game in the g league over five games and uh, we think he could help and then frank says <laughs> fire me fire me if you want to see it like it's that hostile for some reason so just you know and it's not just him Carlisle said Booker and Beal did great tonight, showing they don't need IT on the ball. Uh, that's Yeah, tonight was good, but you had five turnovers from Booker and three from... Sorry, five turnovers from Beal and two from Book. I guess that's down. I guess we're going to be excited about 17 turnovers. Like, if we had 17 turnovers and we lost... We would be very upset about the turnovers, right? That's just me talking, all right? D-Book says, how far do you think the Suns are going into the playoffs if they make it? If it's this version of the Suns, I think they might, could, maybe could escape the first round. That fair? Because to get past the first round... And that includes the play-in, obviously. We have to get past the play-in and past the, the first round. In order to do that, you got to be at least this good of a team where people are hitting their shots. Because you were giving up all these open threes and they just weren't hitting them. Um, and, and the Hawks are eight games under 500. Okay, so you take this performance, put it up against... Uh, the Warriors who have the the refs on their side in a play-in, it's going to be scary. But if they can get better, if they can continue like Book said at the end, 
I've been waiting for this time of year. This is the time of year when you step it up a little bit. Yeah, talk to me. Because that's what you need to do. And if they do that, they who knows? Who knows if after the next, uh, what is it? How many games we got left? 40, 69, like what, 13 games, 14 games left, 13 games? If they're a different team after 13 games, all together and healthy, God willing, especially down this stretch, like it's technically our schedule's easy right now, right? We've got the Hawks and, you know, we've got the game we won against the Sixers and no MB. And then we've got the Spurs and the Spurs. We can, we need to win all those games. Those are the, you, you are done being able to drop games to lesser opponents. But if we can go have like a, a, a streak, which almost feels impossible against the good teams that we got coming up on the schedule, then that means the Suns have arrived to some degree and teams are not going to want to play them in the playoffs and the Suns are going to be able to defend themselves and and cook somebody in the playoffs, honestly. But that's still 13 games away from us knowing. Uh, Voltson says, we were, uh, first quarter scared me, not going to lie, when we were down 14. That's true. I was not confident at that point. But at halftime, I was confident. DC knows what Sundo's doing. LOL prediction said, I think our last 10 are all of the top five seeds are direct rivals like the Kings and Mavs. Dude, and we are fighting against those teams directly for standings. You know. Truffle says, all right, Gabe, thanks for another top-notch sun stream. Catch y'all on the next one. Later, Truffle. Appreciate you, man. Fake me says, would you would you rather be a six or a seven seed than the fifth? I just don't want to play in the play in. I want to be safely in the playoffs, whatever that means. You know. DC says the thing is these young teams are going to tire out. Then Suns will take over late games when all goes well. I mean. You'd think it would be the older Suns team, not the younger team that does the tiring, but I know what you mean. Ideally, that's what will happen. Carlife says, I don't see anyone besides Clippers and Nuggets giving Suns competition in the playoffs. I would love to agree with that, but it's just I I watch way lesser teams beat the Suns in games the Suns should win, so I don't... I can't have that confidence anymore. Like, I wish I could, you know. Preston said, next two games are versus Wemby. That's going to be fun just for the sake of being able to watch Wemby play and watch the Suns play. But the Suns have to get get down to business. They have to win both games. Because the Spurs are one of the least winningest teams in the NBA and you just if you're not better than them how do you expect to do anything in the playoffs DC says playoffs are different it's true you know but different to me what I would say not only is it's harder and if you can't do it now how are you going to do it when everything is harder Quan said, you stream in Saban Lee's G League, G League games? I would rather stream... I would rather stream Phoenix Mercury games. Mug said, Wemby versus Bull. Yeah, I mean, I want that, but you're only going to get 10 minutes a night from Wemby, or from Bull. They're not going to put him on Wemby. Like, Frank doesn't do that type of thing. He doesn't believe in that. I mean, maybe they'll maybe they'll match him up. For 10 minutes, but Wemby's going to play 35 to 40. Vision says, I won't be able to handle if Wemby does a highlight on Bull. <laughs> but what if Bull Bull dunks on him or blocks him or something? That would be so sick. 
prediction says Wolves would be pretty easy if we could get the sixth seed. I think they're a team that I would feel a little more comfortable with playing against than the others. That's true. I don't want to count them out all the way. DC said if we didn't have Ben Simmons on our SNBA team, I'd watch Sophia. Mm. Your girl, Sophia. WNBA, I figure that's what you meant. Nobody can guard Wemby on the sun, says Jared. Probably true. I mean, Durant Durant did pretty decent against him, um, but vice versa, you know. Um, man, I'm sitting here waiting for this press conference. I mean, Book and Durant and all the guys must be using up all the hot water in the showers, taking their sweet, jolly time coming to the press conference. I'll hang in here and see if we can get some uh, some interviews going. DC said Thunder are the Kings from last year. That's a pretty good comparison, man. It's a pretty good comparison. Derek, who'd the who'd Kentucky lose to? Preston says Wemby had thirty eight and ten versus Suns on in only his fourth career game. Yeah, I know, man. I made a video on my Von Sanity channel for that, and uh, I remember that game, man. That was an eye-opening game. Damn, they lost to Oakland? What's going on in Kentucky? That's crazy. They lost to A&M, too. Uh, D-Book says, who do you think is winning the MVP You know, I think they're going to try to give it to Tatum. But I think a lot of people want to give it to Tatum. But I just think it should just be basically penciled in for Joker every year. You know, Luca, the only reason I don't think Luca is going to get it is because they're not high enough in the standings. They're not winning enough games to justify. You know, doing it. Shay, Shay could get it. Pause. But Shay could get it. Let's be honest. You know, scoring leader, I think, in the NBA. Scoring over 30 points a game. Got the best record or close to having the best record. In the West, this tough, tough West. Carr says Tatum due to uh, Jokic winning already and small markets don't get it back to back. I mean, but I don't know. It just seems like it's, to me, jokers to lose. And I loved Embiid's season last season. It was incredible. But I still think in the end, especially considering you saw them go in the finals, you saw how unstoppable... um, He was in the playoffs versus us specifically. It's hard to take it away from Joker. Here's Book. Um, I mean, any game that, you know, you can get something, you know, at the bench is good. And, you know, they were extreme today. Drew played unbelievable when when Nurt got hit. EG, Royce, I mean, all the way down the line. Um, You know, this is more of what we, we expect out of our group. You know, with the talent we have, top to bottom. KD Smith, you um, closing it out with the three threes. Um, was, those, was those just a matter of, hey, I you see it and you know, a way to flow of the offense? How would you assess how you were able to get those looks at the end there? I think, you know, overall, especially these last two games, the ball's been hopping and, you know, it's just been great energy. Um, you know, the, the more passes, the more swings that we get, you know, the better energy and better shots we get. Uh, I would say uh, shoot more, especially in the in the paint. Um, you know, avoid those those passes in the paint, those bou- low bounce passes. Um, yeah, I just say you know be more aggressive, look to score the ball. How much more dangerous to make you guys when EG's pulling up in transition and being aggressive like that. 
Uh, yeah, it's unguardable. I mean, I've been on the other side of it. It's, it's tough to deal with. Um, when you think you're close enough, you're not. Um, when you think he's too far out and he won't shoot it, he will. So, you know, you always have to be on your toes. And, you know, he still has that speed to go right by you and get a layup too. So it's a tough coverage. You know, it's a three-point heavy league, and it's hard to contest that shot without getting up under a shooter. I know that's been a point of emphasis in terms of contesting those shots. How do you feel you guys have done in the last two games? Um, like the ones that have been getting fouls on? Yeah, I mean, like after the Bucks game, I know Vogel said it was a point of emphasis, and then it feels like you guys have been a lot more aggressive in contesting lately. I, yeah, you know, you just have to, you know, get guys off the line and – you know, avoid their landing space, but guys are good. They jump forward on their shots a bit. Um, so it's tough, but like you said, you know, there's a lot of guys that are just living and dying by the three. So, you know, once you run them off the line, it's something that they're not used to. Devin, it's been the last couple of games in foul trouble for you. What's, what, what's going on with that, you think? Uh, I mean, I've been fouling. I mean, so you would, so you would say it was just strictly on – you with that? Except for that last one. That, that one, the one we challenged, it wasn't a foul. Um, I mean, whenever I do like a just a light grab or something that I think is, you know, not enough to be a foul because I feel it most of the game being done to me and it gets called immediately. I mean, it's still a foul. It's just the, the consistency of calling it on both ends. I watch people wrestle Kevin Durant all night um, and then one little grab or hold is called immediately. Just keep playing, you know, understanding that, you know, there's four quarters to a game and, you know, a lot of us have been in plenty of situations, especially with the modern NBA and understanding no lead is, you know, out of reach, especially with the firepower we have over here. So, you know, I don't think anybody on our team was startled or phased. You know, we just regrouped and continued playing and it worked out well for us. Devin, you obviously have your own relationship with the game of basketball, but when you see your teammate Eric Gordon still going with this game after 15 years, is it inspiring or encouraging to you? There's inspiration all around me. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we have Thad on the team now. I mean, I, I grew up playing against EG10 All-Stars. I played against Team Thad. You know, I've played against Bradley Bill Elite. So, you know, these guys are embedded in the game. Um, obviously, IT being a new addition, his love for the game is unmatched. So, you know, there's just complete inspiration around all of us every day, and, you know, I feel it. Dev, when Coach challenged you guys after last night's win to play more together, how do you think you guys answered the call? And moving forward down this final stretch, what do you want to see yourself and this team do moving forward? Just win games. Um, you know, still continue to have fun with it. And, like, you know, like Coach said, just continue to play together and, you know, tonight was an example of that, of, you know, this might be how the playoffs is. A game, a team comes out hot. You know, I think the more you can keep your head and stay together and just continue playing, uh, I feel like we have the talent to do really special things. Do you have any thoughts on the Wildcats? Uh, I do not. I do not. Oh boy, Josh, how many you guys are right now? Small games above 500, and it's for the first time this season. You guys have reached 11 over 500 twice. Would you say? Consider that to be progression at this point in the season, or is it still struggle with basically trying to get to a crack uh, towards a, a pass that six spot? Um, I mean, it's just kind of hard to keep up with it all. You know, it's been years of that, and you know, you start looking at other teams who they're playing and their matchups, and you know, I just learned to focus on ourselves, and you know, whoever we get, you know, we're gonna we obviously want to avoid the play in, but if the play in happens, then you know, we, we play. So just control the controllables, keep working on ourselves, keep getting better, and, you know, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Thanks, All righty. I'm sure Durant or maybe Frankie will be next. We'll see how interesting that is. Anything interesting you guys thought Book had to say? Um, I, I noticed how, like, if you ask him two questions at once, he'll, he's just answering the second one and moving on. Like, Book just wanted to get out of there, bro. He's probably dead tired. Um, can anybody tell me, is the 
next game against the Spurs, are those games, those games aren't in Phoenix, right? Are they going back to back on the road? DC, I don't think CP3 gave up on us. I think CP3's body gave up on him, and then we gave up on him because you know, we Kentucky? knew. I haven't followed the March Madness. I'll have to check the scores later. Here's everybody's favorite coach. And uh, the in a second of a back-to-back, it's usually good for the bench to, to come in and, and play well. What do you think of how they play, considering those circumstances and how they deliver tonight? Yeah, best, probably best bench performance of the season. Um, and we've had some other really good ones, but uh, you can't tip my cap to those guys enough. Uh, they get the game ball collectively, uh, in my opinion, uh, along with I, I would say with Bradley Beal um, and you know, the way he's, he was controlling the game for a lot of those stretches where he was needed. But um, EG, Royce, uh, Bowl, and Drew, Drew especially when Nurk, Nurk went down, um, you know, get hit in the head. Uh, and Drew played some great basketball during that stretch. Um, and then the start of the fourth, you know, Bradley Beal and, and Nurk controlling the action, but E.G. Royce, um, you know, and Bowl making big plays on both sides of the ball, really separating the game. Uh, to, you know, just a terrific performance. DC's favorite coach of all time. No, I didn't get an update. Uh, he didn't do the concu- uh, con- concussion protocol or anything like that. Is, is the bench at this point kind of solidifying its roles and everything at this point? I know, you know, for a long time there was kind of people were in and out. Do you think the rotation is fairly close to set at this point? Close. You know, we were still looking at, at, at some things and, you know, the levels of, of those guys. But I like Bowl and uh, Eric and, and Royce in there, you know, on the perimeter. Um, you know, we'll see where Joshua Kogi fits into it when he gets back healthy. Uh, and then I like what, what Drew's doing right there. So, I mean, we still got to figure out, you know, a few more things in terms of the levels of, with which uh, each of those guys is playing and, and the, the exact rotation. And if we get into the playoffs, do we go down to eight or seven, you know, if needed? Um, but those things will play, it, play, play themselves out. It seems like throughout the year, the times when Eric's able to get a lot of minutes, a lot of the time starting is when he might have these big nights. What do you think is the key for him to keep this type of rhythm going in a smaller role or just, you know, knowing that that's probably going to be his natural spot? The team moving the ball, honestly. Like, we don't run a lot of plays for, for Eric. Uh, but when we're playing in the open court, he gets free. When when uh, we're bringing two to the basketball, which we saw a lot with how the, the Hawks were guarding tonight, uh, when we're bringing two to the basketball and we get the other team in rotations, the ball finds him a, a, a lot. Um, you know, he's had a few games where he hasn't really touched it much. Or, he, you know, when he when he does touch it, it's, you know, um, you know less of a rotation-based type, type of thing. But, you know, when the ball finds him, uh, you know, he's a, a, just a fantastic backside uh, punisher. Last three games have just seemed to kind of caught more of a rhythm. What have you seen with that? Just kind of staying patient after some inconsistency. Been on fire. And Royce, uh, I don't know what his exact numbers for the last last three games are, but you know something like something in the high 60, 70 percent from three range, uh, shooting the heck out of it, and um, just playing a, a overall great floor game. He has some great plays in the pocket today. Uh, a little floater, a little dump off. Um, you know, he's just a winning player. And uh, when he's making threes the way he's making them the last couple games, it just really strengthens what we do. Coach DeJounte Murray, 29 points on 26 shots. He's been on a roll the last couple of weeks. Uh, what was the key to making life difficult for him tonight? Yeah, we did everything we could to, uh, to have our bigs up and not let him get downhill. Um, gave up some backside threes early uh, as a result of it. But, you know, we want to try to take him out of the game as best we can. And... Um, you know, he's playing as well as anybody in the NBA right now. So uh, credit, uh, Brad, again, Bradley Beal, uh, not only for his nine assists, um, not to jump jump all over the place, but but Brad's really sacrificing for the betterment of this team. You know what I mean? And I, I think it's, it's worth pointing out uh, him playing point guard, him touching the paint as much as he's, he's touching the paint, not always looking for it. I took seven, seven shots tonight, okay? And he was, he was arguably our most dominant offensive player. Um, creating things for others. Got got book a bunch of threes. Got Kev a bunch of threes. Got our role players a bunch of threes. Nine assists total, and um, you know it was a plus 17 overall. Andy guarded Dejounte Murray, primarily, right? So he did it back to back nights. Maxi last night, uh, Dejounte mm. tonight. Um, can't speak highly uh, as uh, um, 
can't speak highly enough about uh, the job that Bradley Beal's doing right now. Coach, season high for you guys in terms of three pointers made. What do you feel like was the key there? Trust in the pass. You know, our guys, we keep talking to our guys. We're going to be a team first team to reach our potential. And, um, you know, and bringing two to the ball and being three point line aggressive. Like, we want to get up a, a high volume of threes. We've had several games the last couple of weeks where we got outsc outscored at the three point line by 30 points. Tonight, we outscored our opponent by 30 points. We made 10 more threes than our opponent. You know, so um, got to keep, keep our guys uh, playing for one another. Uh, and letting the pass connect us. Okay, we just got to do it with a few less turn, a few less turnovers. Coach, uh, ask Eric about the, the attempts uh, a couple games ago, and he was saying that the ball's got to be moving fast. Like that's I'm sorry, what the first part? Getting, what was the first part? What you said? I he think said, he said the ball has to be moving fast, Eric Gordon, to get off that number of threes. How key is that for tonight? Did you sense that or see that quick ball movement that led to threes, or was it more in transition? No, we were, we were moving the ball. Yeah, 0.5 mindset. And, um, you know, every game is different. You know, you play against a switching team, the ball's, in, you know, and then you got got to have your Terminators go and, and kill, you know. Um, but it, this team tonight was bringing two to the ball and all the five-man action. So some nights it's easier than others. But, uh, yeah, get the ball moving quickly and get it around the horn and open up the three-point line. You mentioned the turnovers. What have you seen with some of those? Yeah, we just got to stay away from the unforced ones. I mean, our guys are really looking to extra pass the basketball, which is how we want to play, which is who we want to be. Um, we just got to do it with, with more care. I noticed DeJounte uh, having some words with you and the bench there. Is that a comment? With me? No, I was just trying to get a flagrant two just to help our team. But I told him after the game, I know he didn't mean it. I mean, it was just a basketball play. Um, so I talked to him afterwards. You guys are 12 games above 500 first time this season so is that something positive that you could take with you into this five game road trip not good enough we, yeah <laughs> it is positive yeah um but we got to keep keep climbing you know we want to finish in the top six and um the competition is fierce there's some great teams in the western conference so you know it seems like everybody in the league's been on a winning streak i know sacramento and pelicans lost tonight but um you know everybody's been winning and we got to keep pace and uh you know just keep moving up the ladder Eric on the court. What does it do for you as a coach to have another veteran voice kind of echo your same sentiments? Uh, veteran leaders are, are so valuable to uh, to championship runs. You know, their experience uh, throughout their careers and their vibe on things. And Eric's, Eric's got just such a great demeanor about him. You know, like noth nothing phases him. Uh, he's seen a bunch. He, he knows he's got a, a, a purity uh, about his experience level. Like he knows what good basketball is and what bad basketball is and, um, you know, how to play team first ball and, uh, you know, his, uh, his official title on our team is a senior advisor, right? He's not one of our captains, but he's part of our leadership committee. And um, he's been great in that, in that regard. Coach, Thanks. Last one, Brent. What did you think of your guys' performance in the fourth quarter, especially starting there without Book and Katie and still starting strong? Yeah, strong fourth. Uh, we mentioned a little bit earlier, but Brad and Nurk, you know, playing in the, in the pass and cut game was really good. And then the role players knocking down big threes and defending. Not right? They, they really, I think it was a 16-5 run to start the quarter. And, um, you know, that set us off for a great night. We had a strong fourth quarter tonight. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Thanks, Frank. Um, so here's what I picked up from that. Biggest thing that I noticed him talking about was giving props to Bradley Beal for how much he's sacrificing. And that's kind of what goes with what I was talking about. He's not like it, it sucks to only see Bradley Beal with 12 points. You say to yourself, super team, my ass, uh, $39 million a year, my ass. And it's like, actually, what's happening is he's purposely getting everyone involved and in distributing, <laughs> distributing the basketball. Like, he's sacrificing his legacy as one of the best scorers of all time to help the team win so that Devin Booker doesn't have to be the one to sacrifice his scoring to get everyone involved. 
And I think that's huge. I really do. What up, Caesar Buffer? Caesar, have you told me which shirt you want yet for signing up for prize picks? Um, hit me up on Discord with that if you haven't already. I need to buy yours tonight and get it sent out. I think you're the only one left I haven't sent out. Derek, you got your you got your shirt. I got my hat and stuff. Where was Roy tonight? We didn't get we didn't really see any baby boy toy Roy. Um, he's got his shirt on the way. This thing is saying we're still getting some press conference, so hopefully that's true. But yeah, Bradley Beal's really, um, really just doing so much for this team that goes unnoticed and unappreciated. And I'm not trying to guilt you guys into liking Bradley Beal or guilt you guys into like stopping saying bad things about about Bradley Beal. Say whatever you want, feel however you want. But that's, I'm just trying to point out why I've taken such a kid glove approach to Bradley Beal, even though I can also admit 12 points is not what you thought you were getting on a nightly basis. You didn't, you know what I mean? Like I picked him tonight to get 18 points for prize picks, not even close. And it's like, part of me wants to be angry about that, but it makes perfect sense. And I think I'm going to have to start playing his assists instead of his points. Uh, Beal playing like a role player so Grayson can become an all-star. That too, he's turning Grayson into more of a focal point. You know, he's he's doing it for everyone. Like Frankie said, he got Book a bunch of shots open and he got uh, Durant a bunch of shots open. And at least Book was hitting tonight. Not so much for Durant, but Book was. Um... DC said, this is the Gabe we need almost a psychologist. Psychologist Gabe. You know? Ruben Payne says, Durant is looking tired. That could be it. I don't know if that's what it is, but that could be it. And why don't we give it? Well, maybe it's because every game is so important. We can't afford not to play him down the stretch because we're... (gasps) behind on the eight ball when it comes to our record. But I mean, damn, I wish we could afford to sit Durant every once in a while and give him a, just a, a, a game off. And I'm sure he doesn't want games off when he's healthy enough to play. But it would be kind of nice to see what that what kind of an effect that would have on him. Also, you're not going to have back-to-backs to the playoffs, so that's kind of nice. Maybe he'll be fresher during the playoffs because of it. Why do you love Frank so much, though, DC? Explain that. Mac Mall says Brad Beal's the new Steve Nash. He's definitely not a Steve Nash type player, but... He's attempting to do an impression of that type of a point guard, you know. Concho says, hope his shoulder is good. Yeah, Durant, me too. He took a shot, man, on that flagrant LMAO. LOL predictions earlier said, book obviously needs a lot of shots. So all else aside, uh, Beal able to sacrifice is a, Big plus. I agree with that, man. Preston said we better 30-piece McNugget the Spurs. This is the biggest win I've seen. An almost 15-point win, you know? 13 points. This is a Phoenix Sun-style blowout, man. DC said we got Vogel, Fizdale, and Homeboy who gets 5 mil. That's a pretty good coaching staff. So, your only criteria is how much money they're making, DC. Come on. Give me the real reason why you love Frankie V. All right. Press conference is over. Let's go ahead and close it out. Next game's versus the Spurs. I'm going to take a look here and see exactly what day that is. 
We play the Spurs. Uh, ooh. Wow. Okay, so two days. Two days away. So it's it's what? Uh, Saturday and Monday, says Don. Uh, Don. Um, both at 6 p.m. for you guys. Woof. All right, earlier games. And then the Nuggets, Thunder, Pels, Cavs, T-Wolves, Pels, Clips, Clips, Kings, T-Wolves. Not one of those games is an easy game. That's crazy, right? God be with us. God be with all of you. Sundo be with you. How about that? Sundo be with you till we meet again. Suns win! So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> Suns win! <laughs> oh, we're, we're going to the Super Bowl, baby! <laughs> Later playback.